This is where the magic happens. Where you can ask anything. Don't be shy. In fact, the more intimate, the better. From matters of the heart to all your juicy parts, anything goes. Oh my God. Because Mo knows. Yes, Mo knows. Mo knows. Oh, Mo knows. Check, check, check. One, two. Just one, two. Check, one, two. Just one, two. Broadcasting live from Manila, Philippines at the Smart Bro Studios, it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Brought to you by San Mig Light. Oh, yeah! And here he is, the Philippine genius, DJ Mo Twister. Yes, welcome to the podcast again. A little bit late. I'd say about eight minutes late on my clock. But nevertheless, we had to wait for the diva to get here. Which is you. That's correct. Thank you, love. <laughs> Let's do the podcast here. Phone number real quick, 659-6969. We have a full set of phone calls to get to. Rufa Gutierrez is here. We will talk to her in just a second. But first, I want to introduce you guys again to our doctor who's here every night with me, Dr. Gan. Good morning. I'm sorry. Good morning. I'm so used to saying good morning. Good evening, buddy. What's up? Good evening, Mel. Good evening, guys. Good evening, uh, Rufa. Hello. Hi. So you're Dr. Gan. Yes. That's, that's yes that's like right. It, right? Okay. Yeah. He's a doctor. Well, I know because I have a doctor also, but his name is Dr. Steve Mark Gan. He's my dentist. And you know, that guy calls me, <laughs> The guy, the, their office called me saying, oh, is there a Dr. Gan on your thing? Because we don't know about it and he's the only Dr. Gan, but nevertheless, there's one here. Uh, this is Good Times We Know, the podcast brought to you by, of course, Sad Make Light, powered by Smart Pro. And please welcome one of the most recognizable people in the industry it really i mean when you when you talk philippine showbiz uh there, there are a few family names that are the lead it's like the kennedys in politics for example when you're when you're doing u.s stuff of the guccettis is the the the, the, the last the the horse of the group i mean the, the stallion horse? you know the, the good like the, the thoroughbred right rufo guccettis hello good evening well hello good evening mo um thanks for being here well i know For, for now, before we get to all the calls here, what is it like when you are born into, I would already say superstardom, and it's just kind of like, do, do you know the life of the, 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 the mediocre? I mean, it seems like your life has just been so, such a, such a heralded thing you since You know, Mo, since, since I've birth. never been so human as I am today, and I think uh, a great big help was me living in Istanbul and, you know, having children. That really changed my life. And having Lorene in Venice just completely changed my way of thinking. And So was there a time then when you were younger you thought you were superhuman just because everyone's been kissing your ass since the day you were born? No, not really. I mean, I grew up in the States just like you. Mm. And, you know, so for me, I have a lot of my friends who are non-showbiz and they keep me grounded. You know, some of them are friends from high school, friends from, from uh, elementary even, right, a lot right. of expats, a lot of foreigners who don't even know who I am. And I think... They bring reality to my life because for me, I'm here right now because this is my job. Right. Before, back then, it was like bread tripping, you know, right, I needed right. it and like I really didn't care. I was famous and this and that. But now I'm here not because, you know, I want to be a superstar. For me, this is now a In job. employment, right. Yes. And, you know, I, let me go ahead and I say this on TV when people ask me about you. I do say this all the time. I said, Rufa is a really good friend. Well, one of, not, not a good friend of mine, but a good friend to her friends. You know, like who always keeps in touch, never forgets birthdays. I wonder birthdays. what it's like to be your friend, Mo. It's not I very good. you're a great friend. I'm okay if I fucking love you, love you. But if I don't love you like like my goddamn sister or, or like I'm going to marry you, I'm not 
the greatest of friends. I'm just okay. more like concerned with my life. So you're a better yeah. lover than you are a friend. Oh, like fucking- if I was Rian Ramos, you would do everything oh, for absolutely. me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh my fucking, gosh. I, like, like if Rian texted me now and said, hey, I have a flat tire in the middle of the podcast. I'm like, sorry guys. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck am I going to do? You know, I got to go. You know, so, so as, as a boyfriend, wow. I, I think I'm still, but I'm not her boyfriend yet. I'm working on it. But if that ever came to that point, you know what? I'll be there. All right. So Rufa, let's do this. We have a ton of phone calls to okay. go through. Uh, we'll talk about your life also a little bit later. You know, oh, every my now life and is then. so boring. Well, everybody knows about your life, so it's more Gosh. like follow-up questions. To no, they don't know everything. Knows. They just know twenty percent of it. So maybe okay. tonight they'll get. To oh, know they'll know me yeah. more. Yes, yeah, intimate. Definitely. And she's like two hours. Yeah. Yes, it's two hours. But <laughs> I thought this was ten minutes. That's why I said yes. No, shut up. We're, we're, you're <laughs> late. Ten minutes. All right, let's go. We got guys here on hold that have been hold forever. Let's start with. Uh, let's go with a girl or a guy. Which one do you want, Rufa? A girl. Let's go with a girl, Maria. You're thirty years old. Welcome to the show. What's up? Yeah, hi. hello. Hi, hi Maria. Maria. Can yeah, you speak hi. Tagalog naman, Mo, right? You can, but you're... Okay, fine. You're diba? Fil- what if we have like Pinoy's out there from Tondo or something? Gosh. Yes, of okay. course. Hi, Sorry, I forgot what country hi, you're in. Hi, good evening. Yes, what's up, Maria? You have a question. Yeah, I think uh, you already know the story. Or do I have to say it again? Well, just say it again. I know you're in a relationship with a married guy, it says here. Uh, doesn't yeah. want to let go. And yeah, before because we were friends before he got married. So that was about four years ago. He's been married for two years now. Uh-huh. And um, before he said um, he's getting married because it's a, like it's a Chinese tradition, you know. So, and so this, he had to marry a Chinese girl, and yeah. even though you guys were kind of in love, you were never gonna have a future with him. Yeah. Okay. And now, what's the what's the deal? But the but the relationship went on. Okay. So it's like the during the, the night before he, his wedding, he he was with me, you know. Oh my God! Really? You were <laughs> God. So you're the other woman. Yes, and not but not that the night before no, the wedding, like she's before fucking the this guy. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> All right. So what's the question, now, Maria? Yeah, it's like this now. Uh, before I mean, I know he told me, and I know for a fact that he is um, what do you call this? He can't have a baby, so he's. He can't married. have a baby with his wife. I think it's the one with the problem, so I guess it's like just okay. Okay, but okay, he can okay, and but now you're pregnant with his child. Yeah, you're pregnant. pregnant? You whore. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, you know. I can't yes, you me. are. Listen, come on. You are fucking this guy the night before his come wedding. On, can you now, stop harassing her, Mo? The poor girl. <laughs> what if that was your husband? Well, I kill him, <laughs> and you harass Simple. the girl. I, listen, I'm speaking as if I'm I was psycho. part. Of I have like my mom's Annabelle Rama. I would harass the girl. There you go. Okay, yeah, but because, we're gonna yeah, harass you. That's what no, we're doing. No, no, no. Okay, let's 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 put ourselves in her situation. Go yeah, ahead, and Maria. Like, and, and ignore Mo. I, yeah, it's, and, and, and the thing is, the the, the wife is also a good friend of mine. Oh my! You're such a bitch. <laughs> oh my see, god! Look, but you, see, listen, you you hypocrite. See, one for the book. Now that's I know I'm an angel. Book. I'm an angel, people. This is <laughs> why, because you've done something but not got pregnant. <laughs> is that exactly. what you've done? No. You know, but. It, it, Maria, I, you're honestly, a, honestly, Maria honestly, Naman. You're why didn't you take them on pills person. or use no, protection? I, honestly, why not sleep with a married man? I honestly believed him. You know that that's a problem. You know, even though he's okay, 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 okay. You know, we're not we're not going to get anywhere in terms of your 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 yeah, yeah. your okay, so foundation. It's, like the, it's what you're going to do about this. Now you yeah. understand if uh, his family finds out, they're gonna freaking probably, uh, uh, you know, remove and him one from. More, one thing more, he, yeah. The wife came into the house and saw you guys. Unfortunately, he did not see. You mean you were having he, sex? You were having sex with him when the when the wife came in? No, he was just sleeping. You know, we were just sleeping. Nothing. Wait, nothing, wait. Nothing whose yet. house? He was in the house, in my house. And the wife came. Why? Yeah. She made you so good. Yeah, maybe she felt something already, and I don't know. I don't know. Really, I was caught, and I was really caught. Okay, out. Maria, Maria, Maria. <laughs> enough of the story. What do you want from us? Uh, it's like this. Um, I really do not know if if I go on with the relationship or raise the baby myself. You know, you're gonna have to. Oh, I, dump him! Uh, My gosh, yeah, that's bad I, karma, that's Maria. So begging, you know, and uh, one mistake the answer is very um, easy. Just, yeah, let him go. Yeah, and and I'm sure you know him. that you just mm-hmm. want to hear it from other people. Yeah. You know, you know why you have to let him go because you're not going to end up with him even if you wanted him. Mm-hmm. He's not going to choose you. He has a family. Dude, if he married a girl that he didn't really love because his family told him to, do you think he's going to leave her and go with you? 
Pinoy pa naman, di ba? Pinoys have like 10 caridas, but they'll still le- stay with their wives. Yeah, so listen, you, you, that you, you have no... Bosi foreigner yan. You have no yeah. future with this guy. You have to just raise this child alone and stop fucking having sex with him because you're no. ruining your life. You're ruining your child's... Uh, your, your she's she's to be pregnant child. Na, no? I know. That's what I'm saying. Stop it. Probably if it's... Yeah, probably. The problem is if I'm pregnant, that's the problem now, you know. And Maria, listen. Yeah. Take care of the kid. Uh, I know one day you might want to sabotage that relationship out of frustration by telling his wife you're going to make that decision. I don't know if you're going to go through with it or not. Just be smart and and just stop having sex with this guy. It's over between the both of you. You will not have a future with him. You're 30 years old. This is all you're going to be if you don't act now. And stop thinking that it's okay? a problem. You, you, you start now thinking of um, solutions um, or how you're going to bring your kid up. Right, properly. right. And then no more children, please. The first because step I, I, would be to go to yeah. church and confess your sins. Oh, wow. Thank you. Aww, I'm here, I'm I'm here blowing the F word out of every time and you're giving me fucking church. <laughs> All right, listen. Hey, hey, yeah. stop it. No more goddamn kids. You're not allowed to have children anymore for the rest of your life, says me. Okay? Yeah, I, I don't want you like, raising I, children. No more kids from that guy. It. In the first place, I really didn't expect it, you know, because uh, he was honest enough. I didn't know what happened. I really, I really All right, right, right. Maria, we've been talking to you for five minutes. That's, yeah, that's, that's okay. four and a half minutes want, too I long. To All right. Know. Thanks for the call. I'll get away from this okay, relationship. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Uh, Mo, you're so tough on these poor people. I want a guy now. All right. Six, to, six gosh, five nine sixty nine sixty nine. Gian, you're 21. Welcome to the show. What's up? Uh, hello. Um. Good evening. Yes. A uh, great show, Mo. <laughs> Thank you, Gian. And you're making it better because you have a great question. What is it? Okay. So I have two quick question, questions, actually. Go. So one for the boys and one for Miss Rufa. So for the boys first. Um. This morning I was browsing through the internet. Sure. And I saw this really nasty thing. They call it sounding. So they what call it, it what? Pounding. It sounding. Sounding. Yes. What's that? So um, I think they're inserting. Things inside your penis. What? Oh, like oh into God, the into so the gross. hole? Yes. Yeah, so I, oh, like like a, like a, a, a doc? Is that the ca- catheter? Okay, catheter? Doc, what, what answer the question. Hello, I'm gonna yeah. tweet. Sounding is something like you you put something inside the urethra, the the hole of the penis, and to make to make it bigger. I'm not interested. Why would you want a bigger anyway, uh, penis hole? Why would you want a bigger penis? Because if, if you, listen, uh, doc, <laughs> you tell me this, all right? Because when you're about to ejaculate as a guy. Mm-hmm. You if if it's a close if if the hole is tighter doesn't it go out farther and harder? Yep. Yeah, that's what you want. Mm. What's this dribbling out semen nonsense? Mm. Don't do so that. That's actually my question. So what what do you get from it? Do you, what sensation do you get from it? Do you do that, Mo? Do you, what do you use mean? that thumping? What's it? Sounding. 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 Of course not. I want I want mine nice and tight. Um. <laughs> what, okay. And now you're interested in this? No, actually, I think it's nasty and it's penis torture. So I just want to know what. Do they get from it? Okay, Doc, what do they get out of it? They get um, sensation because when they we insert that thing inside the urethra, it, it reaches the prostate gland and then it gives a certain stimulation or sensation. And you might you have to be a one sick fucker to, yeah, to, to, to do this. All right. Okay, so, so I need a tissue. I need to blow my nose. Okay. My gosh. Can somebody get You're me a tissue? You're such a diva. My, my missing. Drew, can you please get her a, a, <laughs> a <laughs> tissue <laughs> in the bathroom, <laughs> please? Pounding, please. Sounding. Uh, very, Thank you. This is very dangerous. And I need it, my it's going but, but, but isn't it as dangerous as like bulitas and all these other very popular yeah. things What's that people bulitas? bulitas are the little beads that guys insert into their penis so it has some sort oh of like gosh, uh, I heard texture about that you know just but recently. the difference is the bulitas you put it inside underneath the skin yeah but this one you really insert it in the hole okay so the risk of you injuring or you getting a wound because of that thing is greater is greater all right next question gene quick so um for miss roof i sorry i know you're not in good terms with miss chris you know but based on your observation, do you think baby James would grow up would grow up as gay? gay? What 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 foundation? Why would he be yeah, gay? What foundation do you have? Well, listen, to... I'm not mad at Chris Aquino. First of all, that's 2010, and you know we did have a misunderstanding, but that happens even between mother and daughter, and between, between you and I, even Mo. Had, you know, yeah. I've hated him so many times. No, of course, I no. always hear it. Why am I not gay? Grab in a man. But okay, listen how listen how crazy your, your question is. I know that you are you are not on good terms with Chris Aquino. Do you think baby James is going to grow up gay? It has nothing to do <laughs> yeah. this the, the, the predicate, the state, well, the subject, they're all all over the place.
knows? I'm shocked with these questions. Huh? I just love how at the beginning of the show, it's, I'm so as human as possible. Die, tissue! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you tell Miss Rufa that what the show is about? Uh, kind of. Let, let's go to the next call. Here, let's okay. go to Sarah Jane. Here. Sarah Jane has a question for Rufa about her love life. Sarah Jane, you're 25. You're on the show. What's up? Uh, hello. Um, I'm fine. Hi, Jimo. Hi, Jane. Sarah Jane. Go. Rufa here. You have such a bedroom voice. Thank you. Not you. Oh, the caller. Sh- shit. Sorry. That was me. <laughs> Sarah Jane, we're waiting. I'm uh, sorry. Go. Hi, Miss Rufa. Hello. Hi. I, um, I'm ready to ask you some questions. Or a few, okay. uh, one, just so, one question. Okay, okay, go. Okay. Um, are you officially dating um, Eduardo Puertas, a businessman from it, Brazil? <laughs> Don't just more saka, but para alam mo. Where'd you get? I don't even info? know the guy's last name. Where'd you get? Where'd you get that information from? The Puertas, her name, or yeah, I, the you're info, right. the info. Yeah, I read it from the newspaper from Malaya. Well, you because know, it's not mom. official. Yes, we do go out on dates, some uh, usually with a big group. And wala uh, pa, uh, you know, I don't want to be serious yet right now. I mean, not uh-uh. serious the to the point of uh, just having fun. It's not that. But I'm just really not ready. I'm still scared to be in a relationship, you know, that's ah, yeah. really uh-huh. serious. Uh-huh. Um, I want to make sure that I'm stable, that my kids are okay. And then that'll come. Yeah. Mm, okay. All right. Yeah, that will be it. Thanks for the okay. call. We appreciate it. Bye-bye. Thank you. Yeah, bye. 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 Mo, so, can so you please like bite tissue naman for your guest? Toilet paper ang ginagamit ko. My nose is going to get all scratched. <laughs> your nose is going to get scratched? It's from... toilet paper. Okay, good. I noted. 659-6969. Uh, Let's take a next call here from Giovanni, who's 30. Giovanni, another question for Rufa, and then after that, we'll get to your problems. Wait, I want to say hi to Micaela and Chucho. They're telling yes, me not to pick um, my nose. Another question for her? Sorry. Yes, go ahead, Giovanni. But you're, um, you're a gay guy. Yeah, yes, fun. I'm, I'm gay. <laughs> fun, fun. What's up? Yeah, um, I just want to ask, um, you know, uh, what is her, uh, you know, um, her beauty secret? Because despite her age, you know, she looks so young still. This, you know, um, Honey, I'm not 50. I'm only in yeah. my mid-30s. <laughs> my God. But do you feel bad when you look at yourself up on the internet, you look at your old photos, and you're like, man, I mean, you're still gorgeous now at your age. You're, probably, you're better looking now than... I mean, I don't say better looking now than ever before, but at least I see you more often, and I think you're the most the most beautiful you've ever been is today. Wow, but thank you. Yeah. Do you look back and go, "Damn it, look at me when I was just young"? No, and of course. Vibrant. Like when I was younger, you know, I had frizzy hair. Mm-hmm. Then now, and they didn't even have hair straightening that back then. Yeah, I mean, you, you like had to use a plancha. Type, you have pubic kind of a head, right? Yeah. But you know, I really miss my my curly hair because Venice, my daughter, has curly hair now, and every time I try to straighten it, my yeah. hair dies. So anyway, my beauty secret is just, you know, being positive, being, uh, being, I guess, well, taking care of your skin. Okay, maybe it's aside from like all of those nice things that you're positive and you're healthy. But you're getting enough sleep, things like that. Yeah, that... I mean, I never go to sleep with my makeup on. I use a lot of creams, uh-huh. um, sunblock. I, I really take care of myself, especially, you know, I'm, I'm filming in front of the cameras and you have those harsh lights. Yeah. That's right. And it gives you wrinkles, so, so yeah. just make sure that you always put sunblock. Salam and if I may just say, uh, you know, of all the female celebrities, you and Gretchen are, you know, they are, you are the most um, glamorous of them all. Oh, oh I'm, 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 thank you so much. I'm taking roof over Gretchen, though. Oh. Nice. Yes, of course. Yeah. All right, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Bye, Giovanni. I love your name. <laughs> Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Uh, it is about three minutes to go before a commercial break, and then we're going to hear Rufa really complain, uh, you know, off air. I'm yes. having fun. You're having fun? Okay, you ready yeah. for another one? My friends are all listening to me, so good, shut up. Good times. Jordan, you're 21. Cavite, what's up? Hey, Mo. Yes. Good evening. Good evening, Rufa. Go. Hi, hello. What do you got? Hi. Uh, my name's Jordan. Yes. And uh, Mo has seen me probably a couple of times already. But anyways, I have this question for you, Rufa. Um, would you ever consider dating a fan? A fag? A, a fan. fan. Oh, a fan. Sorry, a fan. Fan. She just called oh, gay fan. Oh, my fans. gosh. I mean, I love fags. Yeah, fan. and, like, you know, like, I mean, sorry. I mean, fags again. No, 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 no. I love gay people. I have so many gay <laughs> no, friends. No, I mean, fan. Like, a fan. Jordan, we know. You. We're no, but she's trying, she's trying to save herself from calling them fags. Just give I her a know. second. Oh, my gosh. All right. <laughs> yeah. I didn't mean that. I just oh, misheard you. Anyway. No. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, why not? I mean, I don't, I'm not really picky about, you know, as long as we get along, we have the same lifestyle. I mean, um, he loved my daughters and, mm-hmm. 
but you know, he, he interests but, me. But be honest, the motherfucker has to be rich. Of course not. You lying, <laughs> you liar, liar. When's the last time you? No, go, I'm when's gonna pull the, all your hair. When's the last time you dated poor? When's the last time you, you tell me? When's the last Listen, time you dated okay, a poor guy? Okay, when you are in a relationship, you have to at least get along. I mean, I'm not gonna. You know, date someone I don't get along with. Yeah. But you get I get along with money. Well, actually, I get along no, with money. Listen to me. Go, You're go, cutting go, me off. Go, go, go. Yesterday, a friend from Spain just arrived and she was asking me about uh, this Brazilian guy. Mm-hmm. And then the question that she asked me, is he rich? And I'm like, you know what, Tina, that does not even matter. You are aware, though. I've been there, done that, had my like four bedroom, a four story house and everything. Wow. And it didn't, nothing it didn't came work. out of it except for it two work. beautiful children. So, I mean, Ilma's was handsome. I always, if I wanted to be yes, with somebody rich, and dami naman dyan. Yeah. Pero mahilig talaga ako sa guapo at talagang yung tinitibok ng pero, puso. Pero tingnan mo naman yung mga guapo na gusto mo na mayaman. They're all foreigners. Kasi yung mga mayaman na Pilipino, puro pang pangit, pang pangit nila. You know what I mean? That, that's why you're going rich and I usually go for foreign. the one that I'm attracted to. Are you, are so you it doesn't matter see? if he's Pinoy. But the Pinoys, ha? I miss ko sa mga Pinoys. And I know Micaela, my friend, is yeah. listening. She knows that. They're really malambing. And that's the thing that I really miss about the Pinoys. You know, I mean, the foreigners sometimes are cariñoso, pero iba yung lambing ng mga Pinoy eh. Gotcha. That pwede ka na lumabas who's, dahi. Who's got... Oh, God, I feel like sometimes your mom is here. You know, I, I would be scared if your mom was here. And then... She's uh, listening to I me. Know, I'm getting but, laugh. But there oh. are times where I think, God, you, you are Annabelle's daughter. And, yeah. and just like baby James. <laughs> just just like mom. Yeah. All right. Uh Who's got a bigger penis? Filipinos or the foreigners? Be honest. You are so... No, Mo, gotta, I'm walking listen, out. No. You'll, you'll have no <laughs> guests right now. You better call Hayden here. So he was here last night. Okay, good. I'm not <laughs> answering that. What? No, I just want to know, are, do we, do we well, size up? I'm asking up? you. What about you? You yourself. Can well, you I've like... never seen foreign Wang. No, you yourself. Uh-oh. Why don't you judge yourself? Oh, oh, I, I have. Again. That's what I'm doing. I want you to tell me, and then I'm going to tell you if I can hang with I'm these foreigners. I'm not answering that question. It's <laughs> a right. secret. Okay, thank you. Thanks for the call. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Have a good one. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Sure. Bye. It is time for a commercial break. We will take more of your calls. Again, our phone number is 659 We have a full line uh, system here. Six phone lines dedicated to our listeners, but they're full. Keep trying because once I throw one out, a new line pops up. Sometimes the questions are bad and the, the call screeners will hang up on them and a new line pops up. But this, the chances of you getting on the show are very good if you're patient and you're uh, hardworking. And then you get on the show, everybody wins Everybody wins a prize. It's a Philips MP3 play right there from tradeport.com.ph. I want to win one. Oh, we're giving away a laptop tonight. We got uh, cell phones. We got GCs. We have more prizes than we have time, actually. Last night, I was like just picking any random womanizer to give a, a laptop to because we have so much prizes and not enough, uh, not enough time. Really? Yeah, we should make this a three-hour show. Let's take a break. Rufo Gutierrez, you're doing a great job. Are you having fun? Look at that. I'm having fun, but if it's three hours, you'll have to start paying the celebrities. <laughs> for our time. Look at you. How dare but I'm having you. so much fun. Good. All right, let's take a break here. Back after this. Don't go away. Stay t- 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 tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. Huh? We're taking more of your calls at 659 6969. Good Times with Mo, the podcast is brought to you by San Meg Light and powered by Smart Bro. Si Marian at si Ding Dung, oh. Waiter, sa pang San Meg Light bucket. Pare, ano pipiliin mo? Si Marian o abs ni Ding Dong? Pareho. Si Marian o sports car ni Ding Dong? Pareho. Si Marian o beach house ni Ding Dong? Pareho. Si Marian o Ding Dong? Pareho. Ay! <laughs> Maganda ang gabi, pag masaya ang usapan at mahaba-haba ang inuman. Kaya dapat magkaan sa chan. San Mig Light. Drink moderate. Hey, this is Mo Twister for Tradeport.com.ph. As many of you know, my schedule can get pretty hectic with a morning radio show and three TV shows, and that's Sunday to Sunday. Now, often, I can't find enough time to do the shopping I need for my everyday life. That's where Tradeport.com.ph kicks in. Tradeport is the e-mall of the Philippines. It's online shopping at its best because it's not a hassle and it's stress-free. Now, in our city, where traffic jams rule and parking is always difficult, Tradeport makes it convenient to buy what you want and have it delivered straight to your door in as fast as a single day. Payment options are vast, so visit Tradeport.com.ph and fan them up on Facebook. Tradeport.com.ph, 
the E-Mall of the Philippines. Why can't we look like celebrities? Why do they have white skin that glows? Why do they look 10 years younger? Here's celebrity expert Vicky Bello to answer your questions. Celebrities stand out because of their one small secret. A beauty pill that combines whitening and anti-aging. Bello Nutraceuticals. Guaranteed to have 250 milligrams of glutathione. Perfectly measured to boost whitening until skin glows. And collagen that lifts wrinkles from within. So, to look like a celebrity, it only takes one small secret. Bello Nutraceuticals. Two capsules a day, it's beauty in a bottle. No approved therapeutic claims. One of the saddest things on earth would probably be eating alone. Sure, there are times when you would just want some quiet time munching something, but there's nothing like sharing a meal with family or friends. Now, have you been to Fridays lately? You absolutely have to check out their new plates. You have a lot of options, and the prices are actually not that bad. The Cajun chicken spring rolls are unreal. Southern style crab cakes, south of the border hummus, oh man, delicious. And the list goes on and on. Spinach and cheese nachos, pork tenderloin and bacon. Are you drooling now? Rush to the nearest TGI Fridays branch near you and bring your friends. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, and Madrid Travel Club are giving away a trip for two to Japan. If you want to snowboard, enjoy authentic Japanese cuisine, see cherry blossoms, or experience the pandemonium of a mega city like Tokyo, then keep listening to this podcast. To qualify, like us on Facebook and the Madrid Travel Club Facebook page, too. Only fans of the two pages will be selected. Contest ends February 7th, 2011. This Japanese getaway is sponsored by Madrid Travel Club. Hi, this is Mo Twister. As an avid photographer hobbyist, I recently made the switch to Canon and what a great decision it's been. Their line of SLRs are unmatched. My favorite being the Canon EOS 5D Mark II with 21 megapixels, auto lighting optimizer function, and full HD video capture. And on top of that, they have customer service centers in case I need help with my Canon related inquiries. I even use their video cameras for my podcast like their Canon XF305. It's trusted by professionals and that's exactly what I'm looking for. Canon, delighting you always. Hey, this is Mo Twister. Catch the Blackberry Show in the name of love at Trinoma Mall on February 6th from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. This is hosted by Chris Aquino. Watch your favorite stars reveal their L-O-V-E. And thanks to Blackberry for giving phones to this podcast. Trivia questions? Sees you. Walking encyclopedia to. Ako? I solve math problems in my head. I'm a walking calculator. Yun lang. Me? I have Wi-Fi anywhere. I'm a walking Wi-Fi zone. Huh? I have the new Smart Bro Pocket Wi-Fi. It fits in my pocket so I can take it anywhere. It connects my different gadgets to the web at the same time. I can Facebook on my laptop to park. Nice! Watch YouTube on my iPad to stream. Cool. Or download songs on my phone now. Bukunak naman sa Smart Bro Pocket Wi-Fi. Sure. Uh, pahiram na din ng 100 bucks. Hindi ako walking ATM, no? <laughs> the new Smart Bro Pocket Wi-Fi. Plan 495 for 50 hours. Pay on time and get 5 hours free. Visit any smart wireless center or accredited agent. Be free to be fun with Smart Bro. Hi, this is Lady Gaga, and you're listening to Good Times with Mo, Philippine Genius. Good Times with Mo. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, is brought to you by San Mig Light and powered by Smart Bro. Call the show, 659-6969. Back on the program here, it is shortly after 11 o'clock Manila time in the evening. A lot of people listening to the show. We appreciate that very much. Phone number 659-6969 if you want to get on. Rufa Bajetis is here. Rufa, hello. Good evening. Hello. You You're supposed great. to ask me for love advice, not about my life. I, that's what I told our call screeners. <laughs> Enough with, with the with the bi- biography. Let's get down to the dirty. I want to talk about <laughs> masturbation between guys and girls. I want to listen to their stories. All right, let's do it. This hey, interesting. Call, uh, producer Pat... Yes, Mo, I'm here. <laughs> Enough of the goddamn Rufa questions. I know, I know. We're trying. Okay, thank you. I okay, like thanks. Maria questions. This yes. is really interesting. Let's talk about marriage. We want broken families, please. <laughs> Pat? Yeah? Can people broken hear families, you now? Broken families, please, yes? Yeah, okay, we'll thank get Thank you, love. Appreciate it. Let's go to Marlon here, who's 25. He's on a cell phone. So let's try to get some Oh, my quick. gosh. My, my friends Marlon, can watch me. you're 25. What's up? Marlon. Yeah. You're on, you're on the air. What do you got? Oh, I'm on air now. Yes, you are. Hey, good evening. Good evening to Mo and Shufa and Hello. to Dr. Gan. What do you got? Good evening. Yeah, I just want to ask to Dr. Gan, um, is there a certain masturbating limit for what, What's a masturbation? What's a masturbation? <laughs> oh my uh, God, this is hilarious. Since we're on a podcast, uh, pagyajakol. <laughs> oh, yeah! okay. All right. Oh my There's God. a lady in the room. <laughs> No offense, Miss Ruva. It's okay. Miss Ruva, are you okay? 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 Are you ok
<laughs> Make up your mind. What do you want? I can see her face. It's getting red. I know. Oh, my yeah, there goodness. She is. All right. Is there a masturbation limit for guys yeah. and girls? Um, Gan, uh, obviously, there's a medical problem both ways, right? I mean, if you over-masturbate. I'm more concerned about your sexual addiction. But let's start with Gan first on the penis problems. What's going to happen? <laughs> And, and is there a limit? There's really no limit, right? Because no I've, yeah. I've thrown down seven or eight times in a day. But the moment it starts to irritate and redness and skin starts peeling, that's when you know mm-hmm. you've gone a little too far. No limit um, except that when, you know, starts getting red, irritated, stop it. <laughs> and stop using any uh, lubrication that might be harsh on the, on the wang. And of course, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is so funny. <laughs> Listen. Marlon, how many times are you masturbating? Go, give me your top, give me your best day. What, um, what did you do? Siguro yung pinakamadami, four, uh, four times in one day. Oh, in you're fine. Day. You're fine. How you're about fine. You're in fine. one time, in one time, for example, in one sitting? Twice. Um, twice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's okay. You're fine. Yeah. Listen, when you start masturbating into the six to seven range per day, mm-hmm. Then we have to talk about going to see a psychiatrist. Yeah, sexual addiction. Yeah, and you're, probably you're, get a job. What are you doing at home? Like, jeez, don't you have a job? And like, you know, aren't he's you got, busy? He's got a job. No, it's I, called a hand job. He's giving himself no, I, one. No, no, I, no. I stroke he's, my dick while I'm searching for a job online. He's doing you're it stroking all. your dick yeah. while looking for a job this is online. Hilarious. Yeah, that's why you're yeah. unemployed. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Marlon. Um, don't hurt yourself. We've all been there. You're 25. Your masturbating should go down at least by one or two uh, in about two to three years. You Once or okay. twice a day at the most when you're about 26, 27, 28, 29, before you're 30. You're 25. Fine. I'm going to let you pass here on, 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 on stroking it four times a day. But it's, it's going to start. It, it has to lessen soon because you're getting into being a responsible adult with other <laughs> things to do. Okay? Yeah. Can I, can I ask, uh, Ms. Uh, Dr. Gan, is it true that uh, the more you masturbate, na it can lose weight? No, of course. Oh, fuck. What? You lose you weight on what? On master- you know how you, many guys right now just went for the day? You, bur- you, burn, right up calorie. you burn up calories when you do, the- you do it, right? Yeah, oh, but cool. you're, you're, not, you're not getting a heartbeat going though, are you? Yes, you are. Okay, fine enough. Because every time, every time you, you near ejaculation, <laughs> heart rate goes up. <laughs> All right, there you go. Rufus okay. choking okay. on something. Yeah, can you please Marlon, give me some water at least, Mo? Serve your guests <laughs> naman libre na nga to, ha? <laughs> you just came from a restaurant. So it started with a What's tish- your problem? It with All right, hold on, hold on. No water. Producer Pat, can you get back on the radio? Yeah, what's up, Mo? Can you please get uh, uh, Rufa here a glass of water? <laughs> Kayo, Alex, no Starbucks, ha? Thank, thank, thank you. Go, okay. interns. Mineral, <laughs> please. Free labor, it's awesome. <laughs> Let's go to our next caller. Thank you very much. Uh, how about... Let's go Ed, who's 34. Ed has a question about marriage. What's up, Ed? Hello. Uh, hi, you're on the show. Rufa Gutierrez here, Dr. Gan. What's up? Hello. Yes, yes. Good evening, Mo. Good evening, uh, Ms. Rufa and uh, the good doctor. Good evening. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I have my question, but uh, when I heard about the masturbation, I wanted to change my question now. Why, okay. Let's get both questions out of the way because I, I, I want to hear your first one. Hurry. Okay, my, my first one is about the, uh, I don't know if you heard about the seven-year each in a marriage yeah, or of in course. a relationship. Of course. If there's truth to that, uh, how do you explain that? Um, how many years were you married before? You know what? I, it was, I was together with Ilmaz for seven years, and we broke up on the seventh year. But you weren't getting bored of each other. It was just a little volatile. Yeah, it was volatile. No, no boredom at all. I mean, gosh, there was never a boring day with Ilmaz. Right. But um, is that true, Doc, about the seven-year itch? Yeah, it's, because it's I know true. a lot of uh, people These that have celebrate fine, you know? uh, that have uh, broken up on the seventh year. Yeah, because by that time, um, you would have known the good, the good side and the bad side of each other, and um, it's going to be the limit on where you're going he- or you're heading to. Are, are, are you heading? Because we were married for four years, yeah. um, but we were together for seven years. Now, Gan, how long have you been married? Um, 11, 12, well, 12 are you, years. Are you happy? Yeah. And um, in the seventh year, did you, did you have to kind of reinvent your marriage or, or jumpstart it like a, like a, like a car? Or what, what, is there any of those things going on around year seven? On the seventh year, yeah. Because um, different, uh, different um, situations comes in. You have to decide on you know, the kids, okay. where to live. You know. How's your sex life, Doc? Sex life is wonderful. Now, what do you think? I need a number, buddy.
um, no such thing as like you have to masturbate at this age. Doc, hold on. You didn't hear? You asked my question. If you don't masturbate, the good, the good Mother Nature, fine. Yeah, yeah. It Instead will. Of God, it Mother will. Nature will do it for you it will. via wet dreams. It will. So there you go. Either way, he's gonna ejaculate. Hey, what? Caller. Hello. 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 Yeah. I think he's thinking, or maybe he's... no. He's listening no, to. I, I was listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. You listen to us on the phone. Everybody who calls the show. Listen to us on the phone, not on the on the uh, computer. Yes, that's right. Uh, um. Yeah. So he's gonna ejaculate eventually. Okay. Okay. Thanks for the call. Bye bye. Have a good one. Okay. Can you? Ch- can we like find other questions? I mean, put a masturbation. How would I have a relationships, John? <laughs> Let's go with relationships for Rufa. But I can Ritz, and give advice. Hey. Ritz, you're 20 years old. You've been on hold the longest. I'm so sorry. It's just because I wanted to get away from Rufa questions, but we're back. What do you got? <laughs> okay. Um. So I got a pretty lame question here. No problem, love. Fire away. All right. So, um, what what is up with? Or, I mean, what's your stand with um, age difference relationship? I, I mean. Relationships having big age gaps. Okay, let me first ask this, Ritz, real quick. Is How old is your boyfriend, or how old is the guy you want to get with? He's 35. Whew. And how old are you? 15, you sound 20, very young. 20. 20. 20, 15 20, years. you sound so like... 15. Well, you know, what's your max? If you're uh, Put yourself at a, at a 20-year-old uh, Rufa Gutierrez. What's your maximum uh, age gap? Back you know what? For me, age doesn't matter. I mean, as long as like the kid is not like... 16 under age, you know, not an adult yet, and the guy's like 90. No, but there is a problem, love. When you say, okay, say the next, the, you're 17, you turn 18, and you're like, okay, I'm an adult, I'm going to go out with a 44 year old. Again, you know that that 44 year old guy has to be a creepy guy mm-hmm. to go out with a girl who just turned 18. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, hey, age come is. Come on, a- I've had a friend who's 40 that went out with a 17 year old. They were a very hot couple. The guy was really hot. Were. Hedge fund. <laughs> How long? No, did this it last? is what happened. So he was a hedge fund uh, guy, mm-hmm. and then she was a Brazilian model, and Younger guys go for older women nowadays, and older, no. yeah, it's no. true. No, and older men go for younger women. No, you, that's a lot. That's oh, just too much cougar on. town. You're watching on TV. You oh, know why? Shut you, up, you know why Mo. you're saying that is because you're I'm an, not old, talking about you're an older woman now, I'm and you Mo. want you I'm want a younger man. About, okay, why don't you ask John Hayden? Lloyd? Shut up. <laughs> Hayden was here last night. Why is he going out with Vicky again? Oh, oh. Why answer did, me. Why, why did he cheat on her on on Excuse hot ass celebrities? Excuse me, and John Lloyd were only like. Eight years a difference. <laughs> that's like no big deal. It's not freaking that's thirty. A, that's a ton. All right. My gosh. All right, uh, Ritz. Yeah. You're fine. Just make Sorry, sure Ritz, he's, huh? make sure make sure he's not there to play your mind. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks, Did you guys. sleep with him yet? No. All right. Not Are you yet. going to this week? I don't know. Yeah. Think about it. Good. What what day <laughs> is it? Wednesday. Have yeah. sex with him on Sunday. Call me back on Monday. Let me know how it was. <laughs> yep. Okay. Thanks, love. Bye. Bye. Ooh. Oh my gosh! Let's go to Paolo, who's been on hold the longest. Next, Paolo. Oh, actually, we have Vanessa, but I don't know what her question is. Screeners, fix uh, Vanessa, please, and find out what she wants. Let's go to Paolo here, who wants revenge on an ex-girlfriend. This is my specialty. Ooh. Paolo, you're on the program. Paolo. Uh, hello, hello. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh. Everybody, listen to the phone, not the computer. Paolo. Sorry, what you, sorry. Yeah. What do you got? Sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Ha? Ano ginagawa niya? Ah, meron na ano eh. Hindi na daw ko iwan. Pero meron na siya ngayon eh. Ano, ano, ano? Ah, uh, pinagsabay kami ng lalaki tapos dun sumama. Okay. See, may mga babae palang cheaters. Yeah, yeah meron. Course, definitely. Uh, Paolo, when you say you want revenge, what are we talking about here? Because I need the level of revenge you want. Do you want, uh, do you want absolute public <laughs> humiliation? Do you want to break her heart? Do you want to you embarrass her in front of her friends? Do you want to embarrass her in front of her family? <clears throat> or do you want her dead? I do have a uh, sex video. Done. Perfect. 
That's why. You have a sexy video. You got to send it into us first so <laughs> we can tell you if it's worthwhile. I no. mean, like sexy or like a. a no, a, like, like a, sex. Like, They're fucking in the video. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You want to release it? You want to put it I'm on the internet? Will anyone be interested? Is why she famous? Why I did mean, you who? call yesterday when it went in? No, but I mean, I'm just saying, <laughs> even here. if you published it, I mean, will anyone care? Is she a famous person no, or is she an ordinary person? Listen, it doesn't matter whether you're famous or not. Hold on one second. It doesn't matter when you're famous or not. If you, if you're, uh, what is that? Is that us? It's I, an I hear, echo. Yeah, I hear the echo of, of, of me talking. What is it? What, what is that? I don't know. Oh, we'll deal with it later. Okay, anyway, and then... Um, sorry about that. It doesn't matter if you're famous or not. God, if, if more than one person sees you having sex, you don't want to see that. You're not a porn star. I mean, like, uh, Rufa, if you weren't popular, but if two or three of your friends said, oh my God, I just saw you having sex with your, with your ex-boyfriend, uh, it, it, somebody emailed it to me, that's, that's, that's absolute humiliation. Yes. That's what I'm saying. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I don't think you should do that. It's my harder goodness. if you're a celebrity, though. All right, so, Paolo, how long did, when did she uh, leave you for another guy? Uh, last year, December. So you've been waiting for a couple weeks, whether to release the tape or not. Yeah, yeah. Cause uh, I'm, I'm thinking twice. Cause I'm also there. You're in the video. <laughs> You're in the video. You know, if you, uh, if yeah, you... he should have called last night when Hayden was here. Yeah, it would have been awesome. <laughs> My gosh. You know, have you thought? Okay, this is bad advice. Please don't hard. listen to me. I'm just pretending I'm you. Okay. Sure. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you pixelate yourself? Do what? you do you have the master copy? Oh, Mo, be yeah, quiet. Yeah. Wait, it's why? I, I want to ask you, Paolo. Why do you we've think been, she cheated on you in the been first place? For two years. Okay, yeah, very good question, by, by Rufa, because I don't want to ruin. Why I don't want to ruin minds. Did you did you do something wrong to her? No. Why did she cheat on Maybe you? I, uh, I'm just busy to uh, work. Oh, busy with work. So yeah. she was cheating. Are you absolutely honest with us? Of course. Yet you are a good boyfriend and she cheated on you. Of course. Go get back at her. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> not, yeah, not with the video. You go, Dr. Gunn. Post Cheers the video that. online. <laughs> That's That's my boy. Boy. Just pull her hair. <laughs> pull her pull hair. Her <laughs> That's, you miss violence against, <laughs> against women? <laughs> no. Post the video online. Do, oh doc, doc, you're going to get removed. You're licensing to remove for that. You better, you better <laughs> retract. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm still uh, under the weather. Listen, um, gosh. You're supposed to give love advice, Mo. Okay, fine. How about this? Did you call her? What would you you do if your girlfriend cheated on you? As a human? Yeah. As someone who's in love, uh, head over heels, and then if she did that to me and I had possession of a sex video, I'd call. How about just moving on? You know, it's a tough. You know what? I would move out of the country and post it online. See, okay, yeah. beware, yeah. Rian. Be- <laughs> <laughs> beware, uh, sino pa ba mga ex mo? Like, Bunny paras. I mean, why don't wait, they just? Why don't you button. just move on? You know, forget about yeah, it. Yeah, just go. On, I go. mean, the Find best it. revenge would go and yeah. like get yourself a really hot uh-huh, girl. That's it. This guy's not gonna and get a really happy. hot girl. Yeah, yeah. Paolo. She's I'm a sorry. loser. Let her leave her in your past. All right, Paolo, don't do it. We, we, let's take the high road here. Don't do okay, it. Okay. All right. Bye bye. Bye, dude. Thanks. Good luck. Sure. Revenge. Because I'm about revenge. That's just the way I am. Grab these guys, huh? <laughs> well, anyway. We got uh, a bunch of dudes here. Let's go to Johan, who I don't know how old you are. Johan, you're from Manila. What's up? Johan? Yo, Johan. He's gone. He, y- y- Johan, yo. hello? Oh, he's gone. Okay, he wanted to talk about the sensitive uh, part of the balls. Daniel, you're 18. Welcome to the show. You have a question for Rufa. You're from Paranaque. What's up? Yeah, uh, I just wanted to ask Miss Rufa on her on her stand with regard to premarital sex because do you think it really proves love or th- is it like just a stage that a guy uh, a guy and a girl goes through? Well, you know, of course, if you're religious and if you believe in God, if you believe the Bible, then it says that no to premarital sex. But yes. but no, obviously, if uh, you do. Um, engage in premarital sex, then I think that you should be responsible citizens and I think that you should protect yourselves, protect yourselves, especially if you're not ready to have a child. So you're saying it's okay to have premarital sex just as long as you do it responsibly. I'm not saying it's okay. I'm saying that you're not supposed to do it, but if you do it and you're not religious, because not everybody has the same religion as I do, then make sure that you're responsible and uh, 
you know, take the extra precaution. Okay, but but listen, we all, a lot of us are religious. A lot of us are having premarital sex. Okay. It, 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 I, th- I think it's just a part of, it really just a part, I mean, again, right? I mean, what, what do you think the percentage is of people getting married these days as virgins? Philippines. Mm, uh, 10% or lower. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, how many how many percentage of the people here are religious? The country, truly religious. Um, sixty, no, seventy. No, yeah. about ninety percent. Okay, fine, <laughs> very 90, high. Fine, very let's say eighty percent. Okay, eighty percent. Now this is not true stats, but this is at least mm-hmm. uh, a good approximate. This a good, is yeah, love approximate. advice, Mo. Of course, I'm not going to advice <laughs> people to go out and know, multiply but if I'm, they're I'm not, not married yet. I'm not disagreeing yet. with you. I'm just saying let's go with the fact that if eighty percent of the country is religious and only the truly religious will hold out, but only ten percent are really getting married as virgins then we are not following that part of the bible because why because people have sex drives and when you're young you got hormones going and you want to you watch yeah, but it when on you're TV. young you don't do it because of sex you do it because of love a lot of no especially you for watch the girls. gossip girl you, you you go you listen to the okay, songs we're talking about the pinoys i know but we, we we're global now we're, we're mm. watching tv that that, that that has sex like gossip girl it's a good show they're fucking the whole time you know what my problem is? Fucking with Layton Prima- Meester's riding the guy like like it's a style every other night. And nope. that's my girl. Okay, my, my, my French <laughs> friend is listening and he's yeah. like, he has a comment. Go. He's like, Jeff, actually. He's like, sex and love shouldn't be separate. It should go together. Should, should, should. Ideally, I should. Yeah, uh, man, humans should be able to fly by now because we've been on this earth for so fucking long. There's should and there's what's real. Look, we've- for premarital sex, the only problem I have with it is, you know, being responsible enough when you've got kids, when you get pregnant. Yeah. Don't get her pregnant. Don't get pregnant. Sex away. Yeah. Yeah, because I just heard your, I heard your, uh, your show before talking about premarital sex. And I'm then- all for it. Why? Are you not practicing premarital sex? Johan? Is it Johan? No, no, this is Daniel. Oh, Daniel. Oh, this is Daniel. Well, actually, not me. Because I'm actually having... I'm actually trying to give advice to my best friend. Okay, are you having sex right now? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, have you had sex? Well, once. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> once? Yes, it is. But yeah. But I just wanted to give better advice to my friend. Because my friend is more of the conservative type. And he is the kind of guy that, you know, maybe... He's afraid that he might lose his girlfriend if he doesn't okay, do it. Listen, Actually, the listen, girl is listen, very, if very he's afraid, rebellious. he's not ready Wait, to have Wait, the girl sex. wants to do it? This is the kind of girl that's very rebellious. Yeah. Bob, and, oh God. Listen, if he don't want it, give him my number. No, because usually it's the guy who's like, okay, yeah. come, come, give it to yeah, me. And then the girl's like, no, oh, no, please. Listen, if he's not ready to have sex, he's not ready. If the, We'll just find out how the relationship goes. How old is he? He's about 20. Yeah. Oh, what? Again? What a, what a pussy! Yeah. All right. Thanks. <laughs> get get. Just tell him if he's not ready. He's not ready. All right. Thanks for the call. Oh, thank you. Bye, Daniel. A lot of calls. Let's go to a female, Vanessa. Vanessa has a biographical question for Rufa. Twenty-two years old, Manila. What's up? Oh. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 This is Vanessa. Yes. Hi, Vanessa. You're on the show. What's up? Yeah, I have a question. God, it's so hard to get in. I'm. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, but we have six lines. I mean, we were we're making it more than. Um, oh my God! By the way, I just got a message that somebody's masturbating on our Skype. We got oh a, really? Can we, hold on. Can we split <laughs> oh, that's screen? Gross. No, no, no. We don't. I don't want to watch you. All right, forget it. It was a bad, It was a great idea for <laughs> 0.5 seconds. Okay. Um, where were we? Vanessa, question What's for Rufa. What's your Rufa. question? Hello. Yes, go. Your question. Hello. Vanessa, Hello. we're here. Listen to us on the Hello. phone. Hi, Vanessa. What's your question? Hello? Yes. Hi. Yes, hi. Sorry, I'm just on a cell phone. I know, but don't, don't put us on speaker. Get your ass on the fucking phone. <laughs> Hello? Yes. Yeah, there. Thank you, Lord. Vanessa. Sorry, I'm just on a cell phone. I know. Let's okay. uncell phone it and get with the question. Okay. Oh, I just want to ask you for what's the nastiest thing she's done in bed. Yeah. I'm bad. supposed to give advice here. This is not supposed to be my uh, love uh, and sexual biography. Hello. Okay, but okay, let me let me re- okay, let me question. let me rephrase it for her. Are you the type that sticks to one to two positions, or do you like say four or five bouncing off the walls type of shit? Doctor Gan, can you answer? I don't kiss and tell, Mo. I'm not kissing. You're not saying names. That's kissing and tell. I'm asking. Are you a one person position person, two position person? Well, I mean, give, give me like. I'm not asking you for the style. I just need a number. More one or two? That's boring. Yeah. Come on, I was married. So at five, 
Five? Five? Uh, Mo, I don't count. Can you shush? This is not about my life. <laughs> I'm giving you. I'm, I'm supposed for, to give advice. I'm asking for an approximate. <laughs> I'm not answering. Oh, anyway, what's the nastiest thing that I've done? In bed. And then it's backfired. Vanessa, back. get off the fucking speaker. <laughs> fucking phone. <laughs> fucking put your fucking face on the fucking phone. I'm sorry. Okay. I didn't Jesus. Mean this now. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, yeah. Hello. I'm here to give yeah. love advice. I mean, if I was going to sell my story, then Mo would have to pay me millions. Fa- favorite position. Quickly. That's I am not answering. What's your favorite position? Girl on top. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Especially if she's beautiful. Nice. Thanks for the call, um, yeah. uh, Vanessa. There's Sorry, you've been on hold. You've been on a cell phone Thank you, for Vanessa. like 20 minutes. All right, bye-bye. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks guys. for trying your sure. luck. You have lots of advantages on girl on top, Mo. Yeah, and it, and it, but the only thing, the disadvantage is the penis fracture, yeah. which mm-hmm. is not really fracturing, mm-hmm. but the penis mm-hmm. blood vessel break, which we yeah. talked about yesterday. Mm-hmm. Huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Should we take more calls, or do you want to talk about Rufa? I'm not talking about myself. Hello. No. Okay. So we'll you have to remember, calls. this is free, huh? This is oh. libre. Jeez, you my mo- gosh. Mo- and then you tell me. libre laptop, pati kape. Dong, die. We have I'm gonna time. sell my biography. Hello. We have time Can for. I write a book na lang? We have oh. a time for uh, one quick question before we get to the break. We have Lee here, who's been on the cell phone for 12 minutes. Let's even see if, if Lee's still there. Lee, you're 22. What's up? Hello? Yeah, Lee, go. Hi, hi, Mo. Hi, hi. Dr. Gan. Hi, hi. Hello. hi. Hello. Your question. Hi, how are you? We're good. Go. Perfect. Uh, just want to ask Rufa, uh, what age did she lose her virginity? What age did Rufa lose her virginity? My, is this supposed <laughs> to be? Can you please, like, tell these people I'm here to give advice okay. to, like, All right, hold people. on, hold on, hold on. Pat. I'm sorry. Yes, Pat. No. Pat. Oh, so yeah, go. I do the Annabelle Raman to Pat. Go. Pat, nakakaloka ka. This is supposed to be love advice I'm when Mo sorry, got me. They love me. you. They want to know more about you. About my sex life. Hello. Everybody wants to know. What you want my head life. to get butchered? All the calls. All the calls. Seriously. By the father of my children? My gosh. <laughs> okay. Sorry, sorry. All right, no more. Okay, sex questions, but not about Rufa. Okay, ito na lang. Not too young and not too old. Just right. Thank you. All right. Okay. Gan, how about you? What? How old were you? Come when on, you lost your virginity. We don't want to leave uh, Rufa out on cold air. Let's, let's all answer the question. You all answer. I'm, 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 a, I'm a late bloomer. I, I think I had I had my first sex when I was 18. Ew. Oh, around yeah. there. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Yeah, that's ancient. Yeah. All right. Let's take a break. Thanks for the call. <sighs> you okay, Rufa? You look sound heavy. Why is everyone asking about my life? Am I really that interesting? Yes. Let's ask about yes. Mo's life. No, Rufa, you're Rufa Gutierrez. Yeah, but I'm supposed to give advice. Hello. Okay, okay. Stick to the subject. All right, all right. Okay, that's it. I'm not. T- I- People. We have a ton of calls coming in. Keep it going. 659 6969. Taking a break back after this. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. Huh? We're taking more of your calls at 659 6969. Good Times with Mo, the podcast is brought to you by San Meg Light and powered by Smart Bro. Si Marian at si Ding Dong, oh. Waiter, sa pangasan mig light bucket. Pare, anong pipiliin mo? Si Marian o abs ni Ding Dong? Pareho. Si Marian o sports car ni Ding Dong? Pareho. Si Marian o beach house ni Ding Dong? Pareho. Si Marian o Ding Dong? Pareho. Ay. <laughs> Maganda ang gabi pag masaya ang usapan at mahaba-haba ang inuman. Kaya dapat magkaan sa chan. San mig light. Drink moderate. Hey, this is Mo Twister for Tradeport.com.ph. As many of you know, my sked can get pretty hectic with a morning radio show and three TV shows, and that's Sunday to Sunday. Now, often, I can't find enough time to do the shopping I need for my everyday life. That's where Tradeport.com.ph kicks in. Tradeport is the e-mall of the Philippines. It's online shopping at its best because it's not a hassle and it's stress-free. Now, in our city, where traffic jams rule and parking is always difficult, Tradeport makes it convenient to buy what you want and have it delivered straight to your door in as fast as a single day. Payment options are vast, so visit tradeport.com.ph and fan them up on Facebook. Tradeport.com.ph, the e-mall of the Philippines. Why can't we look like celebrities? Why do they have white skin at Why do they look 10 years younger? Here's celebrity expert Vicky Bello to answer your questions. Celebrities stand out because of their one small secret. A beauty pill that combines whitening and anti-aging. Bello Nutraceuticals. Guaranteed to have 250 milligrams of glutathione. Perfectly measured to boost whitening until skin glows. And collagen that lifts wrinkles from within. So, to look like a celebrity, it only takes one small secret. Bello Nutraceuticals. Two capsules a day. It's beauty in a bottle.
No approved therapeutic claims. One of the saddest things on earth would probably be eating alone. Sure, there are times when you would just want some quiet time munching something, but there's nothing like sharing a meal with family or friends. Now, have you been to Fridays lately? You absolutely have to check out their new plates. You have a lot of options, and the prices are actually not that bad. The Cajun chicken spring rolls are unreal. Southern style crab cakes, south of the border hummus, oh man, delicious. And the list goes on and on. Spinach and cheese nachos, pork tenderloin and bacon. Are you drooling now? Rush to the nearest TGI Fridays branch near you and bring your friends. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, and Madrid Travel Club are giving away a trip for two to Japan. If you want to snowboard, enjoy authentic Japanese cuisine, see cherry blossoms, or experience the pandemonium of a mega city like Tokyo, then keep listening to this podcast. To qualify, like us on Facebook and the Madrid Travel Club Facebook page, too. Only fans of the two pages will be selected. Contest ends February 7th, 2011. This Japanese getaway is sponsored by Madrid Travel Club. Hi, this is Mo Twister. As an avid photographer hobbyist, I recently made the switch to Canon, and what a great decision it's been. Their line of SLRs are unmatched. My favorite being the Canon EOS 5D Mark II with 21 megapixels, auto lighting optimizer function, and full HD video capture. And on top of that, they have customer service centers in case I need help with my Canon-related inquiries. I even use their video cameras for my podcast, like their Canon XF305. It's trusted by professionals, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. Canon, delighting you always. Hey, this is Mo Twister. Catch the BlackBerry Show in the name of love at Trinoma Mall on February 6th from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. This is hosted by Chris Aquino. Watch your favorite stars reveal their L-O-V-E. And thanks to BlackBerry for giving phones to this podcast. Trivia questions? Sees you. Walking encyclopedia to. Ako? I solve math problems in my head. I'm a walking calculator. Yun lang. Me? I have Wi-Fi anywhere. I'm a walking Wi-Fi zone. Huh? huh? I have the new Smart Bro Pocket Wi-Fi. It fits in my pocket so I can take it anywhere. It connects my different gadgets to the web at the same time. I can Facebook on my laptop to park. Nice! Watch YouTube on my iPad to stream. Ooh. Or download songs on my phone now. Pakunag naman sa Smart Bro Pocket Wi-Fi. Sure. Uh, pahiram na din ng 100 bucks. Hindi ako walking ATM, no? <laughs> the new Smart Bro Pocket Wi-Fi. Plan 495 for 50 hours. Pay on time and get 5 hours free. Visit any smart wireless center or accredited agent. Be free to be fun with Smart Bro. Hi, this is Hillary Clinton, and you're listening to Good Times with Mo, Philippine genius. 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 Good Times with Mo, the podcast, podcast, is brought to you by San Mig Light and powered by Smart Bro. Call the show, 659-6969. All right, back on the uh, program here. We have less than an hour to go. You see that, Roof? You see how... Oh, sorry. And sorry. I still God. don't have coffee. <laughs> Pat, to keep me up, baka mamaya I'll be sleepy na ha? Pat, look at here, Diva wants coffee. <laughs> okay. Listen, Pat, my do you know goodness. how to work my? Do you know how to work my coffee machine? No, I don't. Oh, can you please buy a Malongo? What coffee life. machine do you have? I have the one that 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 takes a coffee beans fresh from the beans. Hold up. You fresh should from get the beans. Malongo coffee. Seriously, it's only fifteen thousand. For the for the coffee maker for the for the maker for the cappuccino um my, my thingy, coffee maker is uh, is a uh, fuck what is it called it's the one it's the one that um uh who's the tennis player who's really good not Rafa the other one uh Gen, I know Gen, the, the fucking good one he's this fucking the, he's great he's the best which one the tennis player na da, na, da, no na not da. Rafa the, the other one he's his 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 the rival. Swiss guy yes what's can his... someone tell me what's the Swiss oh, guy's name oh my god what's it Federer. Federer Federer Roger okay. I, I do the one that Roger Federer, Federer um, uh, endorses sixty thousand bucks for that coffee machine can you believe that shit all right let's go to the phones R- Rufa you ready I'm ready all right this what do we so got so fun here? thanks let's for talk... all tweeting guys follow me on Twitter I love Rufa G I think you're following me already right okay let's talk to Nona who's twenty six you've been on hold the longest Nona welcome to the show. Yes, hello. Hi, how are you? Hi. You have Rufa Hi. you have Dr. Gan, you have myself, my name is Mo, what's up? Yes, good evening. Okay, my question is, um, I've been with this guy for four years now, and I really, I actually, I really love this guy, but sometimes I feel like a sex symbol for him, because... Um, a sex symbol or a sex toy? Sex symbol, because... That's a good thing. We ha- we always um, talk about sex, um, we <laughs> chat and talk about sex, Sorry. and sometimes sex thing. And then meeting up to have sex. So, um, is, is he your that, boyfriend? So he's your boyfriend? Yes, he's okay. my boyfriend for four years. Okay, and then? So, um, is that normal with the relationship, or I really need to do something about it? Okay, are you uncomfortable with him being so uh, horny? 
some things. Okay, give me give me some of the lines he throws at you, please, if you don't mind, because I want to know how bad. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. No, I want to know how bad it is, because he's, he's like, baby, I can't wait to come home and fuck you in the ass. Then we have a problem. Ew! Okay, because, You're so um, gross. Oh. I'm giving examples. Oh. I just um, came from a job interview, and then I was actually waiting for his te- for his text. For his what? No. For his call or some his message. Text. Just to ask. Okay, give me one of the ones that you you felt uncomfortable when he when he texted you when you read it you're like oh, chana man, oh, grabe naman to. Um, Parang gorilla naman. <laughs> we're um, we are at the resort world and then he just called me and I just he just blurted out that he was having master his master beating on that particular time so you know what yeah. you should be thankful that a... he's thinking and fantasizing yeah. about yeah. you I and not agree. another girl I don't agree me I agree I, I don't agree, agree. I don't hello agree. Yeah. listen the guy is a fuck four years okay fine I'm, four I'm, years you don't even know that is he cheating on you nowadays. instead of thinking My of another God. girl if he's, is he cheating on you no okay listen it's making her uncomfortable though I mean, yeah, does on. it mean? Does he say at least I love you? He sends you stuff. I mean, mm. I mean, is it every time that long you see him, like he's acting like animalistic? Well, sometimes he's sweet, but most of the time that we are just meeting up, it's always about. Yeah, I don't like this guy. I'm telling you, I don't agree with these two. I don't like him. I think he's. I think is he is he very handsome? Mm, not that. Much. Okay, does he got a lot of money? No. <laughs> is he fat? <laughs> Um, he's a basketball player. Okay, so okay, listen. My thing is, if he's ugly and he has no money, you're the only person who wants to have sex with him, and that's what he wants. Alam mo mo. So you mean to say, if you were dating a guy, a girl for four years, and you call her like one day, I don't know, and when you're like, "Hey, baby," no, 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 no. It's not one day. He calls her every day and says, "Hey, baby." Every day, like he doesn't even like, or is it just once in a while? Well, sometimes um, it's three times a week. See, and since for four years, three times a week. Mm, yes. See, I don't like him. I think he's just just after your body. You know, and maybe you're great in sex. Maybe no, no. Maybe oh, you're no fucking, for four yeah. years. Maybe, maybe Come you're on, fucking awesome. Maybe she's great in yeah. bed. I'm sure he loves you oh, yeah. as well because he wouldn't stick with you for four years if he's just after sex. No, no but, but if he's if getting that? if he's getting awesome sex uh-huh. for four years, he's gonna stay. Right. Yeah. He's gonna stay. Okay. He will. Especially if he's ugly. You get what I'm saying? Because see, Rufa, <laughs> you're not putting the equation of an ugly guy. You don't know what it's like to be an ugly male. Because if you're an ugly female, at least you can find someone to have sex with you. You, you know what I mean? There's always a penis out there that's looking. If you're an ugly guy with no money, you're fucking screwed. You can go a decade without having sex. <laughs> and when you finally find somebody... Who's willing to do it? You'll with be you. surprised. Even Rammer. ugly guys, I mean, are, are happy, and they. Okay, I know. Sometimes they end up with really hot girls. Okay, it's so surprising. But those ugly guys have money. There's no poor ugly guy that fucking gets a hot. My girl. driver impossible. before had three wives, and he was bunget for crying out loud. <laughs> yeah, were they fucking FHM cover girls? Jeez, huh? I don't know, but he had three <laughs> wives, and he was my former driver. I'm like, kalbuna nga wala pang tea, and yet he has three wives. They're all from the mental See? hospital. So all right. my driver with no money, who's bunget, 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 and kalbo has three wives. What more? Kaya a cute guy with money. You should be thankful he's fantasizing over you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. No. Oh, no, I don't like him. Get rid of him. Whatever. <laughs> okay, what does the plug say for the show? What does the plug say? Does it not call me Philippine genius? <laughs> so who are you going to pick? Me? This girl who has, 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 need, has needs every four minutes for, oh, for really? there to be fucking water, <laughs> I'm about to coffee. ask for my chinelas now. No, see? <laughs> I hope not. Lalinis tong carpet mo. Or Doc Gan here. Who's 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 okay, spent his life reading? Okay, let's listen to Doctor Gan. What, what? What's your? No, no, advice? we're done. We're done with this. Oh, we're we, done we're with that. Okay, okay, it's fine. Yeah, long. five minutes now. Bye, oh. Pat. What's your name, Pat? Uh, I don't know. I forgot. Let's go to Matthew. He's twenty-two. Matthew, you're on the show. Hello. Hi. Hi, Mo. Hi. What's up? Uh, hey. Uh, this is uh, this is Matthew. Uh, yeah, my, Matthew, good... turn us off in the background, please. Yeah, there. You're gonna. Yeah, okay, go. Right, good times. Hi, yeah. Mr. Rufa. Hello. Yeah. Hi. I have a love and semi career question. Um. Um, my girl is always nagging me uh, because of my work. She, she always mentions that um, because I don't have time for her or anything like that. We don't have time together. And on the weekend, um, I do other stuff like um, I do. Uh, I'm planning to have a small business, like a uh, uh, business uh, type of. Uh, I'm go. I'm planning to go to business. So okay, so you're driven. You're career oriented. You want to. You want to do well. well. What's the problem with your girlfriend? She's nagging yeah, you that you work too much. Uh, yeah, she wants more time. With me, but um, on the, um, during weekend or Sundays, 
um we go out together um we talk a lot and uh, and every time i um, get home from work uh, we talk a lot i text her and all that stuff so, so she um, wants more physical time together um i don't know maybe but, matthew uh, matthew listen you're 22 years old 22 yep. that's very young i admire your drive to be successful maybe you're too uh you, you know maybe this is not a good time to have a relationship because if you were 32 then i'd say okay try to balance career and love life, but you're just establishing your, yourself in the financial world, in, in the corporate society or whatever business you're going to get into. If you're going to have a girlfriend, now, I understand because if I was her, I'd want more time too if you were always working. But you're trying to establish yourself to be successful at 22 years old. That is awesome. That's fucking fantastic. If you're going to have someone who might pull you back from that, it could ruin your life 10 years from now. I mean, you know what I mean? You're not going to be all you can be five years from now, 10 years from now because you're, you're, you're dealing with this. You know, I can't understand girls that just complain about their boyfriends not having time for them. I mean, yeah. they should be thankful that their man is working and not like at home that and not that's right. doing anything. Yeah, no, but that's, but that's, you know, that's physiologically, um, females are more emotionally attached. Of course, so they but, want but, that but, bond. But, but yeah, but they should 22. be thankful that their man is out there working and not like going to so strip going, clubs and going clubbing at night. It's going yeah, to I be a two way. I love her and all that stuff, and um, I'll be with her and um, this time of day. Okay, that's... okay. Are you starting your own business? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, make her part of it. If you're gonna marry this girl, give her a role. He's so she's twenty two so... for crying out no, loud. No, but he says he's gonna marry her. So if you really love her, then if you really love her, then fuck it. Make her part of your business. Give her a role. She'll understand how difficult it is, but she'll understand the promise of this business, how it could be successful for the both of you and the big ass home that you're gonna have and all of these things. Incorporate her into it so she doesn't feel left out and alone. Okay? What what if she wants out of it and when she when she finds it when she finds a hard time with the business? Well, you don't know that yet, and you're you're already assuming that. Make her a secretary. You know, yeah. But when you're 22, you always say to your girlfriends, I'll marry you. You think it's the one. You think mm -hmm. it's going to last forever. Yeah. And come on, that changes. I, mean, I know, but it, what if you have she boyfriends at 22, think, Mo? Come on. I, mean, I know, I know. I, I absolutely that agree with one. you. And it's that's not. why I told him I don't think you're, you're, in, a, you're in a good space. You're in a good time for a relationship. But you're the one to decide that. If you absolutely love her and she's worth incorporating her into the business, then do it. And then if she sucks at it, then at least you said, we tried, babe. I mean, you, listen, I wanted you to be part of this corporate life. I, I, I gave you the opportunity. Okay, you don't like it, but shit. Look, give me some credit for trying to make you part of what is taking up a lot of my time. Okay, okay. All right? Hey, Mo, I have, a, I have one question for Ms. Rufa. Go. Yes. Yeah, hi, Ms. Rufa. Hey. I, I just want to have an opinion, uh, your opinion regarding the John Lloyd and... Um, <laughs> and um, Shaina thing. Vaginal lock? I have yeah. no comment. This is not about my life, but you know, yeah. okay, one day I'll write my book. That, that well, yeah. um, for the the no count, no counting in the positions. No what? No, you're, you're, well, yeah, you she wants to know. Yeah, she wants to know how many positions you were yeah. in back no, then. Okay, no, no bye, no, thanks. No, thanks. No, thanks. No, no. Okay, well, I What? what? Yeah, don't worry, I'm trying to get rid of him. <laughs> uh, we okay. have Leslie, who's thirty. She comes too fast. Johan is still there. Talks about balls. B has a thirteen-year-old daughter who cusses too much. Oh, that's bad. Which one do you want? Anything. I'm reading my tweets. Okay, I'm so sorry, dear. Let us go to the <laughs> longest caller. Leslie at 30. Leslie, you're on the show. Hi. Hi, what's up? Hi, it's his ex question. Okay, mm -hmm. I want to remind everyone, every caller today gets, and really every day, every caller who gets on air gets a Philips MP3 player. It's a GoGear 2 gigabyte, 2,100 peso value from tradeport.com.ph. Call the show, 659-6969. You get through, you get one of these. Somebody's going to get a laptop tonight, hopefully. Uh, we are going to give it to the best caller. We'll try to remember who the best caller was. But, Leslie, it could be you. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I'm 30, but I don't have much experience on sex. So sure. I feel like... Uh, I get wet or come too easily. That's great. That <laughs> you know how many women out yeah. there can't come at all without at least oral? I mean, you have to be a liquor to get you. Can you please you make her finish her question? You're no, getting all excited. No, no, she's, I, I, I am. Be very, very thankful for that. Yes. What's you your name, Sheila? Very lucky. Leslie. Okay, continue your question. Ignore Mo. Okay, yeah, go. Actually, I was asking if it's, if it's a good thing or a bad thing because the thing is Fucking I've never amazing. experienced multiple orgasms because I feel like every time I come mm -hmm. I'm tired and then I want to come with my guy so listen you know. okay less okay. than 10% okay. of females come during intercourse okay. yeah, during intercourse that's right you are less than 10% yeah, I don't want to say less than 10 Gannon. why that's a, little, that's a little that's a little stiff I'm definitely less than 50% 
I'd say 30% no, of women no. uh, orgasm during like, intercourse. Yeah, majority doesn't come Absolutely. during intercourse. Absolutely. So they just fake it. Yeah. They, no, they them, fake it or the guy has to do something, whether he rubs the clitoris so, or licks yeah, it or that's, whatever. That's what no, you call love, you know? Oh, my God. Oh, anyway. Does it, now, when you come, are you coming through intercourse or is it going down on you? Uh, Both. Okay, well, then don't let him go down on you. Because it, th- that's the quickest way to an orgasm if the guy gives oral sex to you. And if you're coming too fast, then just have intercourse with him and enjoy it. Because if you're st- – and stop being tired. Jesus, come on. Why are you tired? <laughs> From work? No, it feels like it feels sore or some something like. Well, how long does it take then? Because you said you're coming too fast. It shouldn't be sore in in in, in, mm, in a minute yeah. or two. What, what are you looking at? How how long does it so take? Much fun. How long does it take? Five to, to ten minutes. That's normal. Yeah, what that's the fuck, normal. Leslie? That's normal. Females are in the ten seven to ten minute range. Yeah. Guys are in the three to five minute range. That's normal. That's, that's normal. normal. Be very thankful. Pull out for some that, lubricant you know? if you if it, if it's fucking hurting. You're fine. That's awesome. Oh, I, I don't think God. she would. I don't think she would still need lubricant because she she gets wet I get very wet easily. easily. I know, but she said she's sore. Gan, and does he have a big penis? Yeah. yeah okay. There. That's why. There. <laughs> so you, you, yeah. The How soreness big? doesn't come from the friction; it comes from the the size. Yeah, the but come on, girls are fucking firing up babies Definitely, out of that thing. I mean, yeah. come on, it can't be that big. How big is it? Come on, enlighten that's us. Seven. Oh, like me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, you know, I've, I've, I've been known to rip and shred uh, okay. during my day. Okay. All right. Listen, baby. Okay, listen. Yeah. Okay, bye. What? No, to the lady. Oh, she's yeah, done? Yeah. yeah, she's done. Okay, listen. Can you please answer this girl's call? Black lady. She's been on hold for an hour on Skype. Sasagutin pa kaya ako. Can you answer the poor girl? You answer calls for like 12 right. minutes that are waiting. Pat. There's a lady complaining get, on my Twitter. Can, can you get the Skype girl in here? They're nagsusumbong na kay Rufa. Okay. Yeah, she's been on hold for an hour. The poor girl. Wow, <laughs> naman daw. What's yeah. her name? Black Lady two six two zero zero two. Get her on Skype. Get her here. She better be fucking naked. We'll wait. Okay. Let's take a call while we're waiting because I don't want to be dead. Okay, here. sure. All right. Um, well, let, let's go to who's been on hold the longest? Johan. Johan, what's up? Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Hurry, go. You have a question, medical one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Well, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Um, I want to know, um, I mean, the yung Pateros. You're from Pateros. No, <laughs> no, 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 I'm not from Pateros. <laughs> Pero yung part is yung Pateros, yung sobrang it's, sensitive part kasi bagsakan siya ng itlog. It's the part, you're no. hilarious. <laughs> Rufa, it's the part between the balls and the ass, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, that part. That, where, that, little, that little gap yeah. in a man's anatomy between the sack and the anus. Okay. Yes. okay. What's the question? What's the question? I want to know um, the exact anatomical name. <laughs> and I want to know why it feels... What? Why does it feel so sorry, sensitive? Ha, I'm sorry. I, Why I, does I, it feel I, sensitive? Okay. Obviously, again, uh, you know the oh, answer. Yeah, to this. I don't know these things, but so I'm learning so many things. Pateros and Itlog, where? It's there? Yeah, it's there. <laughs> awesome. You're awesome. Go. Okay. The um, I don't really, I don't, it doesn't have that name. It doesn't have a name. Okay. Okay. The specific name between the balls and. It's called the nacho. Okay. <laughs> not nacho balls, nacho ass. Okay. Just the nacho. <laughs> This is so <laughs> funny. You know what? That place isn't really sensitive. The most sensitive part in that area would be the glands. The yeah, head. The, the head, the head. Yeah, okay. It, okay. it, uh, the person seems like it's sensitive because it's um an area where you don't usually touch. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's why it feels like you perceive it as sensitive, but it's not. Johan, I'm 33. Never in my life did I think about fucking around with my pateros. Do you get? Do you get so much else else to play with? Mo, do you get pleasure from it? I don't. I've never even touched it because there's no reason to. (laughs) Oh, dude, you should try it seriously. (laughs) Johan, don't try it. Oh my gosh! Hold on. Let me put my let me put my hand in my jeans real quick. And can you do that later when I leave, please? Bucket list, Jan. Bucket list. Oh my god. Bucket list. I'm gonna do it in fucking fifteen minutes. Yeah. All right. Johan, it better be good. If it's not, I swear I have your number, I'll call you back. <laughs> you have you have to do it at the, the right exact Johan, six three seven seven two see, I got your phone number, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, call yeah. you back if it sucks. <laughs> All right. No, do it at the exact right time. Yeah. All right, bye Johan. You've been on hold for so long. Sorry. Thank okay. you. Bye, bye. Johan. 
My gosh. B is 42. Pateros. He is it's the from, first time I've ever heard of this thing. B is 42. He's from Mandalu Young. B, you are on the show. Hello, B. B? 13 year old oh, daughter who cusses? BBN. Hello. Oh, no. C- cusses excessively? No? Okay, good. 659 uh, 6969. If you want to call, get yourself on the show here. We will uh, give you a prize. You might win a chance. Uh, you might get a chance to win a laptop here. I'm sorry. I'm starting to lose my voice already because of all the work I've been doing and not feeling very well. Tomorrow on the show is uh, Buhawi Meneses, who was on Survivor. Wow. With your brother. And he plays for a very good band called Parroquia and Edgar. He'll be here tomorrow. Okay, let's go to. Michael. You know what? I'm just so thankful my mom doesn't know how to use the internet. Yes. If okay. she heard us now, she'd pull all my hair. Yeah, your mom's going to kill me, too. What are you talking about? <laughs> and June Lalin, okay, where is he? Michael, to... you're 28. You know what? I'm just so thankful yeah? my mom doesn't know how to use the internet. <laughs> Hello? Lower, lower, lower roof on the background, please. Okay. Thank hi, you. Michael. Yeah, hi. What do you got? Yeah, I got a friend. He grew up abroad sure. and came here. Mary, met a young Pinay, married her about two decades long. Okay, and now the problem is they got married and the girl doesn't sleep with him anymore. Why? So he started going to gir- local girly bars and we've been trying to tell him advice. So what's the best way to go about it? Like, is he I, using protection? He might give his wife know. a disease, He doesn't ha? really tell. We just know that mga Pinoy's don't use protection pa naman? Can you make sure that he's like... Best thing going about what? Yeah, giving him advice like uh, what to do with this marriage if he's going to end it and stop going to the girly bars. What's I think the, the problem is sex or something. Why, I don't know. But well, why doesn't the wife want to yeah, do anything with him? No, That's, but come uh, on. There are a lot of wives where – I don't want to say a lot of wives. Like to, I want to generalize all you females. But this is a very uh, typical problem where a guy is not getting enough sex from his wife because they've been married for years and years and years. And he's got – you know, maybe she's lost her sexual drive and guys are still still have it for well into their goddamn 60s or 70s in our country. Um, and that's probably what's going on. Yeah, but they should talk, they should communicate, yeah, and then, like, mm-hmm. you know, romance her again because women, they like being romanced, you Try know, so. Yeah. But, but. Send if her you flowers, need, well, make her feel beautiful. Okay, but, Rufo, yeah. if you're a guy and you've been married 20 years and. You're 20 years and you're like, oh, my wife, she's fat already and wrinkled and shit. And I, don't want to, I mean, like, yeah, true, we should communicate true. and have sex. But I'm like, if I fucking have sex with a fucking elephant. You know, <laughs> you can go to the girly bar and in 15 minutes get yourself a, a slamming 19-year-old. No. And and you don't have to whine and dine. And now this is bad. I this is bad. By the way, I'm not I'm not I'm not uh, promoting this. I fucking hate guys like this. And it, it, I think it's a problem with our society. I think we put fucking leaders in our country that do this shit. And I don't like it. But I'm just trying to put my mind where this guy is. Now, if I was the wife, and if I found out, mm-hmm. you leave him, Michael. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, no, no. The problem is that the the girl is younger, two decades younger. So, Wait, how old is the, is the girl? Be specific. Around, I think, 30s. Then the guy's like almost hitting 50s, 60s. Uh, alam mo, baka naman that guy is like just wants to like make sure that he's still hot. That's why he's going to the girly bars just to... No, it's not even that. We don't have that problem, uh, Rufa. We don't have that vanity about us where we're like, I want to make sure I'm still hot. You, we were, our, 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 we're probably balding. Our, ha- our hair's probably great. We just want to have sex with younger chicks. N- not all of us. Those guys. Mm-hmm. All right. So, Mike... Michael, come on. You know what's right and you know what's wrong. Go ahead and advise, all right? Yeah, but, but uh, I, the problem is uh, we don't know how to send the message across to him so he would listen just to Just tell us. him frankly. Mm, I mean, if no. he's really your friend, then you should just blurt it out and say, Pare, stop going to these girly bars. I hope he's not ha- going out with these like uh, people in uh, the bar. Yeah, like, you know, we, we, you if, can get if, diseases there and pass it on to your poor wife. Even if she's like as fat as an elephant, she still deserves a... Uh, Agreed. Know, Agreed. All right. Tell All him. Right. Tell him. Tell you're his friend. Your guy friends. Guy friends are allowed to tell other guy friends they they they, they their, their their shirt is stupid. And if you're, and they're not going to get right, If you're really right, a friend, right. he'll listen to you. Yeah. All right. Thanks for the call. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you. Yo. Mo, the Pateros thing. Yeah. The 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 scientific name is Perennial Rafe. Really. I like Nacho better. Okay. All right. Lara, twenty nine, been on hold for ten minutes. I have minutes. a stiff neck. What do you want? A massage? Hold on. Pat? Yes, Mo, what's up? Can somebody come here and massage Rufa? No! Who do you want to do it? No. Who's that girl in the bikini? The bikini There's like some girl, girl in the bikini outside. Mo has some really hot interns, guys. That's right. In bikinis answering the calls. So that's when's right. the boob job? So we'll come? ask her to come in? No. no nah, okay. no, no. Just she's, yeah, anyway. she's, she's just being a brat. Thank you. All right. Where are we? Lara? Hello. Hi, you're on Hi. the show. What's up? Hello. Hi, good evening. 
Hi, Miss Rufa. Hi, Mo. Hello. Um, well, I'm. I have this very big problem sure. that I'm keeping with myself for almost eight years. Wow. <laughs> yes, I'm really having a difficult, if not impossible, ta- uh, possible uh, time with uh, breaking up with my partner. Now, You're having a hard married. time. You're having a hard yes. time breaking up with your partner. Yes, okay. we have a seven-year-old daughter, and we're not married. And you want to marry him? I hope so, yeah, I so, do. So the problem here, Laura, mm-hmm. is you're 29, you have a seven-year-old daughter, you're like, what the hell is going on between us? Why aren't you proposing to me? Yes, okay. exactly. When, Why don't you ask him? What yeah. is the answer? What? What? Okay, that a thing then yon. We yeah. ha- we just have to be both stable and everything. Are you living I mean, together? Not anymore. Oh, Why? this relationship is on the decline. Yeah. No, because what anymore, happens is we, if, if, we if used you, to live together for like five years. Yeah, that's the thing. If you live together first, then the guy has nothing to look forward to anymore. This is my advice. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, why would he end up marrying you when he's already been with you for five years? I think that mm-hmm. with any guy, you should still keep, um, you know, the surprise or what's going to happen. I mean, once you live with him, you've got a kid now. He's already experienced sort of like, quote, unquote, married life with you. So it's like, oh, this is it, you know. So why should I marry her? Pa? Some guys are like yeah, that. Yeah, but you have to give an ultimatum because it's your life too. Yeah. You know what I mean? You, 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 you deserve it because you, you've gave birth to your child with him. You've mm-hmm. raised it for seven years together. You deserve an answer what is going to happen to the future of you and, 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 and this family. Now, mm-hmm. if he's going to be lazy about it and not be direct and not keep his word, then you have to leave because you can't live the rest of your life hanging on this fish hook because some guy is fucking around. Yes, but um, are you financially stable to to live on your own? And there be are with a your lot kid? of people who are I not financially so. off. They get married because they love each other. You know, but but right now the two of you are ta- the three of you are talking about the, just the parents. Think about the kid too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really but I don't want you getting kid. married because of the kid. I want you to get married because you want to marry this guy. You know what I mean? Actually, I have, yeah. two, I have two reasons why I want to marry him. Yeah, no. first, because I love him. Sure. And the second one is we, we have a daughter. No, no. Remove that from the equation. Sorry, Gan. I don't agree with you. I, I think that okay. if you're going to get married to this guy, Rufa. Yeah, we, but he hasn't proposed. What no. do you mean about getting married? It's no, not I mean, you, give the, the you give the ultimatum. Listen, the reason, listen, I need to get married. Because I need to know if I'm going to get married or not. How about that? You don't need to get married. You just need to know what's in store for your future. Are you finally going to do it? Or are we going to sit here and wait for another five years when I'm fat and no longer hot and I can't get another guy? Yeah, and Miss Rufa. You're 29. You're hot still, probably. your experience. This is really heartbreaking for our daughters, for our children. They always ask, uh, where's my dad? Um, That's what I'm talking about. They always keep on asking. I know, but what are you going to do? Yeah, but Gan, okay, fine. Yeah, but you know, fine. This but, kid is going to grow just like her. Oh, you know, no, but she's not that bad of a person, though. It's it's proven. You know, yeah, I know kids that. Kids like this will grow up just like her mom. But mean? she's not that bad of a lady, though, and that's fine. I'm fine with that. Okay. He's an asshole, and that's not yeah. her fault. No, no, no. Listen, what's your name? Uh, Lara. Lara. Mm-hmm. Lara, you know, uh, first of all, uh, so you're basically a single mom, and you still have mm-hmm. a boyfriend, right? Mm-hmm. Um you know, if your husband doesn't, uh, if your boyfriend doesn't want to marry you, um, then tamasimo, you should give him an ultimatum. Yeah, absolutely. And then also, with, lang, uh, lagi niya sinasabi, o oh, oh, kita. The, you know what ultimatum yeah. means? Kaya nga mag ultimatum kayo. It means you either do this today or yeah. a certain date. Mm-hmm. If you don't do this in six months, I'm leaving you. That's it. Yeah. Kaya mo That's what an ultimatum Lara? is. Yun nga eh. <laughs> Well, this guy no one supports her. For so many times, parang lagi ako nagla- nagbibigay sa kanya ng ultimatum. Tapos okay, well, you know what? Why don't you keep to your word as much as you want him to keep to you to his? Okay. Mm-hmm. Yung yeah, maybe the problem with me is I'm still weak, right? <laughs> okay, listen, Lara. Here's what I'm gonna do for you. I'm gonna give you a chance to win a laptop because I I mean, you've been in there. You, you sound Aww. like a, you sound like a nice lady. <laughs> you've been raising this child. You got you got you got Dick Watt who doesn't want to do anything. Let let's give you a chance at a laptop. I have three boxes in front of me. One of them is GC's to TGI Fridays. You can bring your family. Uh, the other is a Sandmig Light uh, <laughs> stuff, and then um, we have a laptop. Pick one, two, or three. Which one do you want? Of course, a laptop for my daughter. I know, but you have to pick a box. <laughs> Behind the curtain is said laptop. <laughs> pick a box. Oh, one, two, sorry. or three. 
Pick a um, number. One, two, three. Yeah. Three. Three. Rufa, open box number three and see what she Oh, wants. let me see. Box number three is... Grabe ka naman, SMB, SMB Light. light. Yes. Okay, that's now you great, can intoxicate but... your boyfriend. I mean, yeah, a little bit yeah, more. Get him and drunk then, and, and then... make sure he proposes. That's like, right. twist his, make bingo with his ear. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, okay? Stay on hold. Thank We're going to get so your information. Much. No problem. Hold on, love. Thank you. All right. It is uh, commercial break time. Let me see what we got here in terms of... Where's my coffee, Mo? Pat. <laughs> yes, Mo. Where's the goddamn coffee? Sorry? Where's the coffee? Um, what flavor does she want? What coffee? <laughs> Grabe naman. Nasa baba lang ang Starbucks. Ha? Kaya yeah, nga, what we're, do you want? We're getting Hurry. from Starbucks. You know, okay, we'll, we'll, we have a commercial. Oh, let's get Malongo coffee. Jeff, come here and bring me some coffee, please. We're going to take a commercial break. We'll talk in person. But I don't know when you can meet this diva. <laughs> what are we got? Okay, listen. What do we got next? We got Robert who's been on hold for 10 minutes. Oh, he, it's another. Mo, they're asking how, what if they don't have a computer in the house? Okay, listen. Okay, it's fine. Guess why? What? We're going to make this available on iTunes, on my blog, on, on sandmiglight.com.ph. There's a way, there are ways to get this recorded tomorrow. So don't worry. If you're not getting okay. into it live, don't worry. Guess what? This is forever. It's not like radio where you say it once and you lose it in existence. This is downloadable. Oh, really? Yeah. So my mom can listen Your to this? Your mom will listen to oh, this. Oh, my I goodness. I have to behave. No, she's not going to Don't ask this. me any more crazy questions. Let's, Peeps. Let's, 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 let's just speak in an English street slang. She yeah, I don't want mom to pull my yeah. hair. <laughs> All right, let's take a break. When we come back, Robert, let me let me talk to Robert here. Cool. Robert's been on hold forever. Robert? Yes, hello. You, you'll be the first call after the commercial, okay? Yes, hello. Yeah, you'll be the first call after the commercial. Okay. Hold on. Stay right there. See you in just a few okay. minutes. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. Huh? We're taking more of your calls at 659-6969. Good Times with Mo, the podcast is brought to you by San Meg Light and powered by Smart Bro. Si Marian at si Ding Dong. Waiter, sa pa nga San Meg Light bucket? Pare, anong pipiliin mo? Si Marian o abs ni Ding Dong? Pareho. Si Marian o sports car ni Ding Dong? Pareho! Si Marian o Beach House ni Ding Dong? Pareho! Si Marian o Ding Dong? Pareho! Ay! <laughs> Maganda ang gabi, pagmasaya ang usapan at mahaba-haba ang inuman. Kaya dapat magkaan sa chan, San Mig Light. Drink moderate. Hey, this is Mo Twister for Tradeport.com.ph. As many of you know, my sked can get pretty hectic with a morning radio show and three TV shows, and that's Sunday to Sunday. Now, often, I can't find enough time to do the shopping I need for my everyday life. That's where Tradeport.com.ph kicks in. Tradeport is the e-mall of the Philippines. It's online shopping at its best because it's not a hassle and it's stress-free. Now, in our city, where traffic jams rule and parking is always difficult, Tradeport makes it convenient to buy what you want and have it delivered straight to your door in as fast as a single day. Payment options are vast, so visit tradeport.com.ph and fan them up on Facebook. Tradeport.com.ph, the e-mall of the Philippines. Why can't we look like celebrities? Why do they have white skin at Why do they look 10 years younger? Here's celebrity expert Vicky Bello to answer your questions. Celebrities stand out because of their one small secret. A beauty pill that combines whitening and anti-aging. Bello Nutraceuticals. Guaranteed to have 250 milligrams of glutathione. Perfectly measured to boost whitening until skin glows. And collagen that lifts wrinkles from within. So, to look like a celebrity, it only takes one small secret. Bello Nutraceuticals. Two capsules a day. It's beauty in a bottle. No approved therapeutic claims. One of the saddest things on earth would probably be eating alone. Sure, there are times when you just want some quiet time munching something, but there's nothing like sharing a meal with family or friends. Now, have you been to Fridays lately? You absolutely have to check out their new plates. You have a lot of options, and the prices are actually not that bad. The Cajun chicken spring rolls are unreal. Southern-style crab cakes, south-of-the-border hummus, oh, man, delicious. And the list goes on and on. Spinach and cheese nachos, pork tenderloin and bacon. Are you drooling now? Rush to the nearest TGI Fridays branch near you and bring your friends. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, and Madrid Travel Club are giving away a trip for two to Japan. If you want to snowboard, enjoy authentic Japanese cuisine, see cherry blossoms, or experience the pandemonium of a mega city like Tokyo, then keep listening to this podcast. To qualify, like us on Facebook and the Madrid Travel Club Facebook page, too. Only fans of the two pages will be selected. Contest ends February 7th, 2011. This Japanese getaway is sponsored by Madrid Travel Club.
Hi, this is Mo Twister. As an avid photographer hobbyist, I recently made the switch to Canon and what a great decision it's been. Their line of SLRs are unmatched. My favorite being the Canon EOS 5D Mark II with 21 megapixels, auto lighting optimizer function, and full HD video capture. And on top of that, they have customer service centers in case I need help with my Canon related inquiries. I even use their video cameras for my podcast like their Canon XF305. It's trusted by professionals and that's exactly what I'm looking for. Canon, delighting you always. Hey, this is Mo Twister. Catch the BlackBerry Show in the name of love at Trinoma Mall on February 6th from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. This is hosted by Chris Aquino. Watch your favorite stars reveal their L-O-V-E. And thanks to BlackBerry for giving phones to this podcast. Trivia questions? Sees you. Walking encyclopedia to. Ako? I solve math problems in my head. I'm a walking calculator. Yun lang. Me? I have Wi-Fi anywhere. I'm a walking Wi-Fi zone. Huh? huh? I have the new Smart Pro Pocket Wi-Fi. It fits in my pocket so I can take it anywhere. It connects my different gadgets to the web at the same time. I can Facebook on my laptop to park. Nice! Watch YouTube on my iPad to stream. Ooh. Or download songs on my phone now. Pakunag naman sa Smart Pro Pocket Wi-Fi. Sure. Uh, pahiram na din ng 100 bucks. Hindi ako walking ATM, no? <laughs> the new Smart Pro Pocket Wi-Fi. Plan 495 for 50 hours. Pay on time and get 5 hours free. Visit any Smart Wireless Center or accredited agent. Be free to be fun with Smart Pro. Hi, this is Lady Gaga, and you're listening to Good Times with Mo, Philippine Genius. Good, 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 good Times with Mo. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, is brought to you by San Mig Light and powered by Smart Pro. Call the show, 659-6969. All right, back on the program. It is about, let's see about, well, we started late, though. Because so you me, were late from Nova Liches. Sure. No, but because we're, do you have at least... 25 minutes left in you? Of course. Good. I'm waiting for my friend's coffee. Okay. Maybe we'll even do 30. Let's go. 659-6969. I'm giving away the phone number, but uh, the, right now there's no available lines. Keep trying because we get, get more lines, yeah. though. I didn't know it was going to be this popular. I mean, really, really. I, I no, done... but explain to them, like, in a week, what we were telling me earlier, because now um, you can only, like, even if 200,000 people want to view us, they... You, we will they, crash. Uh, yeah. Right, live. Like, but that's exactly. why the heart and the the one of the big reasons we we uh, we sell this hard to advertisers as downloads is because you can now watch it or listen to it. You can take your pick like tomorrow, and, tomorrow, more, okay, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll be we'll be thing you, up to twenty years. Yeah, it's forever. It's 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 there forever. Gosh. People are gonna be listening to this episode two years from now. Really? Yeah, listen, on iTunes today... So we Lorene were... and Venice are going to listen to this? Yes. Don't say that. I'm going to be very corny. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. Your daughters will never get to this. All right, let us take... Okay, let's take a... Oh, gosh, we have a Skype call. I promised that guy. Uh, let's go Skype real quick here. Okay. JB? JB? Hello? Hi. Yes, we're taking Skype. Ooh, this is the first time we've done Skype. JB, let me see you, man. Uh, let me see what you look like. Oh, that was wow. Hard. I don't have a cam. Oh, he doesn't have a camera, but right. he's just shy. Give him his JB, privacy. can you hold on because I promised the other guy. Uh, how long have you been yeah, on hold? Sure. How long have you been uh, on hold? Uh, 40 minutes. 40, 40 minutes? minutes? Can you answer him the month first? No, because I promised the other yeah. guy. Okay. Hold on one second. You're good. Oh, I promise right. you're next. 40 minutes. Jesus. Uh, Robert, 28. Hello? Yes, Robert. Hi. Yes, hello. Okay, uh, you were on hold forever. Good what evening, Mo, and good evening, Miss uh, Rupa. You're hello. so gorgeous. <laughs> oh, thank you. Are you watching her right now? Uh, yeah, yes. uh, over my iPhone, you right, stream. Camera, iPhone, nice. very nice. Yeah. Okay, you can't see Dr. Gan because we have to get another camera, but we're working on it. These cameras cost friggin' 400,000 bucks. Oh, we can see him. Oh, there's Gan. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh. All right. Hi. Yeah. Yesterday, we couldn't see him. Okay, Robert, mm -hmm. you have a question. Go. Yes. Uh, actually, uh, I'm the, uh, you gave me a, a proposal. Uh, um, idea. Idea, yeah. yeah. Last year, um, the camera mm -hmm. thing, and I should take a picture of the uh, engagement thing. Okay, hold on one second. I'm going to summarize. Uh, this guy is from the radio show. He called. He said he wanted to propose to his girlfriend, but his girlfriend wanted a digital camera for Christmas, something like that. I said, buy the camera and then take a photo of the ring because he broke her camera or something like that. Take a photo of the ring. So here, here's a brand new digital camera. She opens it, she presses the play to see what the, what, the, what the pictures are and there's a nice, beautiful wedding ring there and you go down on your knees and you say, will you marry me? That's, that was the idea I gave you, right? Yes. So okay. did you do it? Did you do it? Uh, I did it uh, exactly at January 1, 2011. <laughs> so 12, 13 days ago, 12 days ago. Yeah. Yes. And? And actually, the question is, I gave it to her, and then she accepted the ring, but she didn't say yes. 
What? <laughs> she didn't say yes, and she told me that um, parang she's not yet ready pa yata sa mga ganun. And, but, ayun nga. Um, and then, okay, ang question ko is parang, should I again propose in yeah, well, next, a, next ask, year? ask for the ring back. And then, <laughs> yeah, that's, and the digital camera, uh, goddammit, because that was part of the whole fucking thing. <laughs> Give my fucking camera back and the ring, and then maybe pop the question again a year. Yes, you have to be patient because she didn't break up with you, right? Um, no. Yeah, she just said she's not ready. we're happy because we're all already for years. Wow, it's parang it's the guy now who has to give the ultimatum on this I know. This call. Uh, hindi naman sa ganun. Pero kasi ano eh, um, yung work rin niya kasi is um, parang laging nasa labas ng bansa kasi she's a uh, Okay, keywordist. yeah, I got you. Oh, ooh, boy, that's a scary position. She's a what? She's a flight attendant. Oh. Yeah, that's scary for your view. Ooh. What airline? Um, local. What airline? Cebu? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, whatever. She dances Lady Gaga on the plane. That's cool. Um... <laughs> All right, yeah, you know, be, be thing. Be uh, patient. Take, yeah, take her word for it. Be patient. She's probably not ready. You know, maybe she wants to uh, work f- in another field one day before she gets married uh, to, to stabilize her schedule and be in the country as often, okay? As often so, she can. So, uh, should I, uh, how about the proposal? No, should, I, should no, I, I actually sincerely for ask for the ring back. Next, Go ahead, uh, give me the I, ring back. I, I don't mind the ring, but should I ask again next year, the next year, or, um, or should yeah. I wait that she would tell me that um, she's ready or you know what? you can have the conversation without exactly proposals. right yeah you can say hey babe what do you think you think we should just maybe you know Take think about our back uh, yeah, or like uh, you know forward yeah. you don't know it doesn't always have to be a proposal oh, sorry Dr. again because you've laid out the, the your plans on the table so you can now um, casually talk about it mm. mm-hmm. so, you don't have to okay, yun, yun special yung parang ano surprise Uh-oh. surprise thing yeah but guess what guess who's here for you I am and I'm gonna give you another good one in, in two years or three years when you're ready okay <laughs> tagal ha no kasi di ba maghihintay give him like six months naman Pusha naman six months wala naman babago sa buhay niya sa six months <laughs> alright thanks Rob she know, okay, she knows, thank you she knows your intentions thank you yep yeah. All right, we have uh, this guy who's been on hold now for the guy, an hour. The other yeah. guy, yeah. He's on yeah. Skype. Skype for the first time, J.B. Reyes. Oh, I'm not supposed to say your name? Whatever. J.B., you're on the oh. show. <laughs> it's JB? not a real name, actually. Oh, it's not. It's a fake name, Mo. Come on, he's smarter okay. than right. that. Hi, sure. J.B. Yeah, hi, Rufa. Uh, good evening. First, Mo, uh, congrats. Grabe. Sounds Thousand good. Thousand viewers. Alas dos, you know? Yeah, I know. And did you see the chick? Who, to be the, big? The, the, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. Because this yeah, is it? just, this is on their second day on a yeah. stream. We don't yeah. even have the downloads yeah. yet tomorrow. This is going to be huge. Uh, JB, did you see the, the our, our, our intern with the bikini? Yeah. Yeah. She's okay. hot. Hell yeah. <laughs> guess what? She has a B cup. But guess what? Bello, <laughs> yesterday, agreed. Uh, she's going to make her a C cup. <laughs> yeah, C cup for free. No. Yeah. Was she here with Hayden? No, Hayden was here. And he's like, don't worry. You want a boob job, you get a boob job. Awesome. Wow. Yeah. But no, crazy, I love crazy. her. Huh? You love I the sister? No, y- y- same girlfriend. Girl. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But your sister, yeah, major wild, but she drug addict. Is she, she unstable? Is she crazy? I know. Tama lang. Hindi naman. Okay, no, pero bakit kayo? Bakit kayo nag ano? Nag nagkarelasyon ng one night? Ano yung biglaan? Sa parang nag-away kasi sa apartment kasi nila magkasama sila. So ngayon. Uh, Pumunta ako doon. Alam, natutulog ako doon. Pero mga once every week, pwede ako matulog doon. Tapos, so, nag, nagpunta ako one time doon. Hindi ko alam na 
na wala pala siya doon. So, syempre, sabi ko, pahinga muna ako dito. Tapos, eh, syempre, eh. You know, sister, listen. But, oh, God. My God. You know, e- even though I, I just asked you if her sister was sane, that's an insane move. You, you, yeah. That's that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I so think... The, I th- So should he live oh, God, this, so with his life forever? Either way. Dr. Either Gann. Way. Should I be really dead. honest most right, he's with dead. her or... To be honest with her, well, I'm a fan of the truth, but I think she'll dump you, probably Absolutely. slap your Definitely. face. And, like, and you'll ruin her family, but mm-hmm. it doesn't take away you, you, that you cheated on her. Uh, uh, my Why advice, don't you just leave her? <coughs> no, because he loves, you love her, right? Four years now. Yeah, but you love her. You're in love with her. Oh. Okay. Here, here oh, we go. This, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's, oh. all, let's all go with our own solutions really fast. It's a good question. I, I already have mine. Go ahead. Uh, okay. Again, go go first. Yeah, you're just four years, okay? So hindi pa masyadong malalim yung relationship ninyo. And either way, um, you did it. Nag-decide ka na makipag-sex with, with the older sister. So tell her now she's gonna dump you. Um, she, she, you. You don't tell her and then she finds out later on you're dead. Yeah, but... So what should he do? As, as of now, ah. Pero di ko alam kasi mamaya magkaroon sila ng away someday or maybe five years from now, di ba? Hindi, pero hindi mo sasabihin yun eh. What, 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 does the sister wala, wala, wala. feel guilty? I'm sorry? Does the sister feel guilty? Yung sister um, ng girlfriend mo? Hindi n- 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 naman, n- naman din. Kasi okay. older sister siya eh. So. Yeah, listen, you know what? Listen, here's the thing. You cheated on your girlfriend. You're, you're a douchebag for that. If you really love her, then you just keep it a secret and never admit it again. And never do it again. Never do it again and just never admit it. Okay? Now, if, you, if she finds out one day and breaks up with you, guess what? You deserved it. But in the meantime, <laughs> let's just hope that you're going to get lucky. Now, she'll never bring it up. And then you go and go ahead and live happily ever after. Okay? Yeah. That, that, truly, that's the best advice I think uh, you're going to get is... Keep Staying it a secret. On. Continue. If she dumps you and finds out, fuck her. You, you, you fucked up. That's what you deserve. Keep it a secret and then start praying. Because whatever you, whatever painful, whatever pain you're gonna go through with her dumping, is not even close to how much hurt she's gonna do when she finds out you yeah. fucking fucked her sister. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> or iwanan mo na lang. Yeah. Or yeah, but he loves her. Then, he loves okay. Her. Okay. Right. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah. Skype worked well. My gosh. Very impressed. nice audio, Mo. Yeah, pretty, pretty impressive. I'm sure he had a camera. He was just shy to show himself. Yeah, especially now because he's banging yeah, someone's sister. Phone. Okay, here's the thing. People listening, we have six lines. They're all full. You have to stop calling now because we have no more time. We have 10 Aww. minutes to go. Well, no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the calls on hold. Everybody who on hold, that's you, Bono, Billy, Anne, Edward, Lay, and Joanne. The six of you, we will take your calls, but we have no more time uh, after this, okay. So everybody who's listening right now, I'm sorry if you can't get through right now. Tomorrow you'll get through. Um, try to get early. Try calling at 10:15. We have Buhawi Manessa to put on this program tomorrow. Um, but let's go through these calls real quick because we're running out of time. And it's hello to everyone in the Middle East and Vancouver. Wow, so shall. That's right. God damn it. Uh, and 24, you've been on hold for half an hour. What's up? And hi, yeah, hi. yeah, hi. You go. You're 24 years old, Kazan City. Yes. Go. Okay. And yes. we're fucking waiting. Go. What's <laughs> the problem? Hi. Yeah. About my question, I'm very sorry. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Stop listening to us on the computer. <laughs> What's your question? Okay. Yeah, my question is I have guy friends. Sure. Yeah. And then um, we wanted to know if they're together because the other one, we're sure that he's gay, but the other one is really straight. Okay. Because he's been like um, saying stories about on um, his love life, about his ex girlfriends, but okay. right now really, really confused okay. why, about them. Why? What does it matter if you? I mean, is there some sort of like um, important uh, some go some? Is there something so important that you have to know right away whether these two guys are in a relationship? I mean, it's none of your business. Yeah. Do you because, like one uh, of them? No, 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 not that. Because we're just really close friends. We're office mates, and then we're just affected by the why are you around affect- us. Why are you affected? What's it to you? Yeah, it's not your. It, stop it! It's not your fault. Stop being mm-hmm. chismosa. Listen, <laughs> then they're gonna they're gonna tell you if it's true. They will tell you because you guys are a barcada. Don't worry about it. In the meantime, forget the chismis. You, you guys are friends. Just wait. It, 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 how does it keep you up at night where you can't sleep because you're thinking about this? No, it's not like that. Then, then, but don't let she's it be, curious. I know, but don't let it bother you because you're saying it's confusing all of us here we're, 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 we're making up stories or whatever the hell you guys are doing don't you can you can be curious no problem right 
But don't let it bother you guys. Because then you guys have a problem. Yeah, it bothers us because we're really close friends. And then the the gossips are really bad about them. Listen, the other- I'm close friends with Rufa. I'm not going to take a shit in the toilet and make her look at it. Okay, are, no, You're so No, you gross. get what I'm saying. Is you don't have to know everything going on in my life. It just yeah. doesn't matter if mm-hmm. you're close. Me and my bowel movements are an, it's an intimate relationship between me and my ass. Sorry to I cut you off. My coffee's there. Okay, tell them to come in. I don't have to, to share with you every little piece of my life. My coffee's there. So we're just... We're just Hold going on. to wait until they admit that they're together. Yes, don't let it bother you. Guys are friends. Be supportive. Be a friend. Don't worry about it. It's just homosexuality. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Ah! Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Oh, can you show yourself to the people? He's our Hello. new delivery boy. He didn't Look, bring coffee. Hello. He brought like he brought. Can you show him? So come stuff. down. You're tall. You're like six five, Jeff. Do I have to make my own coffee? Can you like make it can for we, me to mind? Can we pretend that we're not on air for a oh, second sorry. and just <laughs> do the show? Okay. So. Again, people calling. We, we we can't take your calls anymore. Lay, you're twenty one. No, I'm having fun. Let's take more calls. We, we can't. We, I have a job at six in the morning to do. Uh, Lay, twenty one, Kazan City. What's up? Hey, what's up? Um, hi to everyone. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Okay, so I have like this weird kind of advice that I need to ask from you guys. Okay, go quickly. Okay, because like I've been in this relationship for, well, I was in this relationship for six years. And then um, last year we went long distance. And then so I waited for him for like 11 months. And then when he, co- he got back, like we were supposed to meet up and whatever. And then we didn't. And then he blocked me off of Facebook. That fucker. <laughs> what? I mean like six years, dude. Like what the fuck? So, well, nah, he found someone else now. Yeah, why? Are, why you, you know yeah. the answer. He's no, not... it's not that. I just want to see, like, can I get revenge out of this? Yes, of course. Do you have sex tape? Most or... No, we don't <laughs> film that shit. Damn. <laughs> oh, listen, if you want, you want to get revenge, but why? He did he did he cheat on you? No. No. He just broke up with you. But he didn't break up with me. He blocked me on Facebook. Who does that? That son of a bitch. Why Are you sure you're 21? You, on... you sound like you're 14, and this is a 14 year old problem. <laughs> hey, no. You're 21. Yeah, for real. So why are you bitter? Because he blocked him on Facebook. Like, who does that at Listen, 21? I don't have Facebook. You know, with everything now, with social networking now, it's just pathetic that yeah. everyone breaks up uh-huh. with their girlfriends and boyfriends via text message. I like that, though. Via Facebook. No, I, like, I like the breakup with the text message. I'll oh, tell you gosh. why. You don't have to see the person destroyed in front no, of you. No, no, no. I want face to face. No, yeah, because then face. you turn yeah, around and you got you to walk, you gotta walk you back in your fly car. Fly back from, the, from uh, wherever you are. You got to walk back in your car, a defeated man. I don't want to see that shit. Tell it to me in my Tell it to me. No, tell it to me on text message. School style. Oh, Tell, no, text it to me. On. I, I don't have to look, cry in front of you and look like a fucking beggar. No. <laughs> yeah, text it like, to me. The Can day before, he was all like, oh, I love you. Oh, my God. I can't wait to be with you. Can't wait to see you. And then he blocked me on fucking Facebook. Yeah, what a son of a bitch. All right, listen. Take it up. Take Listen, it's a loss. Okay? Yeah. Don't worry about it. He's an asshole. It's not revenge worthy. Okay? Blocking from a Facebook. What what you did, what you did is you found out he was a pussy. And that's good enough for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, douchebag move, man. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and this, that, that's okay. Okay? Because he's an asshole. He's a pussy. And he, he's got no, he got no balls. Uh, that's good for you because you were able to find that out. True, but after six years, can he have done it like... Yeah, but you were 15. <laughs> Fine. You're not 35. <laughs> You're 15 in this relationship. You're 21 now? Yeah. yeah. Oh, come on. Just yeah, dump go, him yeah, and like... Yeah, go look for another guy. Yeah. Don't go, don't go. But we were in I'm a sure six... I'm sure you're we young were, and we beautiful. Were a, we were in a six-year relationship. No, but relationship. I think that I mean, she should at least give him a piece of his uh, her mind. Yeah, oh. absolutely. Give you know what? If you want to you wanna write a testimonial on his Facebook about how him being an asshole, that's fine. You can do yeah. all of that. But when it comes to straight revenge, it's not worth... It's, it, this is not worthy revenge. This, he's just a prick. And yeah, in like six years, I mean, he should at least have respect, right? Yeah. Well, he's a kid, though. I mean, they're blocking each other off Facebook. These are kids. No video? No video. No. Come on, they're 21. Okay. All right. We got pictures. No, I'm kidding. You got pictures? <laughs> I don't know. No, no, no. Just, yes, just you know, yeah. Make him away in the law on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. My don't worry. Goodness. Keep it immature. Keep it immature. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Whoa. We have three minutes and four. I want four. more. I'm having fun. <laughs> okay. Billy is. And you know what? Since all of Manila is sleeping, now we have like people listening to us from like all over the world, like yes, we U.S. Are. Yeah, it's 9 a.m. in the West Coast, and it's uh, lunchtime in and New York. somebody's talking about the hot PA. Yeah, that's the, yeah, that's the girl with the... T- oh, Japan. Japan is here. See? Okay. Bonga. Hey, guess what? It's going to even be bigger tomorrow when they start downloading it. Billy, you're 24 from Marikina. Your girlfriend comes too fast. Yes. Good. Good. Like, like how fast? Uh, 
like 10 minutes. Oh, Raymond Gutierrez is listening. Hello. Hello, Raymond. Hi, um, Rufa. Hi. Billy, oh, 10 minutes is not too fast. Yeah, don't, not fast. Don't you know, we, we said this already, girls, mm -hmm. if, girl, if a girl can come at all, great. But if she can do it in the 7 to 10 minute range, then fucking fantastic. What's your problem? But I could go for like 20 minutes, 3 minutes. Okay, you, yeah, after, but after, what? After, after, after she comes, she asks me, ask me to stop. Okay, here's what you need to do. Listen, listen. Sex is about pleasing your partner. If she comes in 10 minutes, tell her to then give you a blowjob for another 10 minutes. It should <laughs> refract her, right, yeah. again, yeah, yeah. to be able to have sex again for mm -hmm. another 10 minutes. And guess yeah. what? You're coming together. Fucking Eureka. It's awesome. So you think she's going to get multiple com uh, multiple yes. uh, yeah. comments? Yeah. She, there's going to be a refraction period. I think 10 minutes is plenty for a refraction period. Actually, she can give you a blowjob for five minutes, and then she'll be ready to go. Gan, concur? Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah. This is so uh, crazy. Just, Thank God. Just like the other girl earlier, the, uh, you guys, <laughs> you you and your girlfriend, you're lucky because she comes. I, uh, what is that? Really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, most of the girls, Dude, they don't. Okay? Billy. They, they just there, please their partner, and then they don't come. Okay, Billy, they, Billy, your girlfriend has an orgasm. Yeah. Fucking throw a party. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. This is hilarious. This is right, fantastic. So I it's it's, tell a, her to it's God's greatest after gift after to her. Did, after she finishes, then by then, she's good to go. Again, as I said, you guys have sex. In 10 minutes, she has an orgasm. She, you then make her, not make her, but tell her to give you a blowjob. In five minutes, at least you have 15 minutes in already. Then she can have, you can have sex again for another 10 minutes. She'll come again. You're now 25 minutes down. And then you have a five-minute hand job to finish the thing. Trust Mo. Believe me. Right? Trust Mo. Trust Mo. And then, let right. her, and, then, and then tell her you can jizz on her chest. Yeah. All right? <laughs> Yes. All right, Molly, you're a teen genius. Right? All right, well, that's what I'm here for, baby, to save the kids. Oh, by the way, yeah. your ad for Sammy Light, yeah. it's effective. It is? Why? You're I drinking? I just I bought a bottle. bottle. Good wow. Boy. Good boy. I saw it. Hey, guess what? I'm going to give you I'll give you, uh, I'll give you six beers. Right All right. Now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, hold on. We'll get your name. You got six beers, for courtesy of me. Hoo let's go to Joanne or Bono, who's been longer. They're both about, okay, let's go to Bono. He's been on, and then Edward's been there forever as well. Bono, what's up? Yeah, good evening. You're drunk, Hello. Bono. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Hello, yeah, Bono. It's a Wednesday night. Yeah, people drink on Wednesday night. Okay, Bono, but be careful. Yeah. Be careful. Don't yeah, drive. Week. All right, what's the problem? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a question for Rufo. I, you know, I, I, okay. I'm drink, like I've been drinking, calls. and you know what? I want hold to creep to my wife and have good sex and wild sex. Okay, hold on. What? First of all, I love how your mom calls you Rupa. <laughs> this guy <laughs> called you Rupa, <laughs> which is better than your mom. I, okay, what was his question? I'm he wanted to have, he wants to have wild sex with his wife. Is that right? Yeah, my, my wife is sleeping. She's with the kids. She's sleeping and with I've the kids? Been drinking, but she's not been drinking. So you want to have sex with your sleeping wife while the kids are <laughs> sleeping in the same room? Yeah. Okay, well, wake her up and bring no. her to the other room. My She's goodness. Drunk. Would you want a drunk she husband to wake me. you? Listen, nobody wants to have sex with an animal smell. It just You, you're, you smell like you're Okay, drunk. brush your teeth first. I'm going to brush my teeth and wash a bit. Listen, little Ruba. <laughs> Slide in. Bono, Bono, masturbate yeah. tonight. It goes away. The urge goes away. I promise you. If you and guess what? Your penis might not even get hard because you're so drunk right now. No, it would stay longer. Listen, Bono, yeah. masturbate and guess what? I promise you. Listen to my voice. I can't fall asleep tonight because I'm drunk. Bono, listen to me. Shut I have up. To make something happen. Shut up. Listen to me. If you masturbate, I guarantee it. Ten seconds after you're done, you're done. You're not gonna want to have sex, and you're gonna want to go to sleep. Gan, concur? I, I, I yeah, I bet. Time for red tube or whatever. Go to red tube. Go to <laughs> tube I eight. I can't. I can't. I go to gutter uncensored. Go to fucking flesh Asia touch. daily. Go to. I want touch and physical. That's why you have your hand. No. Listen. Okay, okay, fine. I, I, I want my wife, but she's so like she was so busy. All, what is that noise? Hold on, hold on. What the fuck is that noise? It's coffee. We're, we're doing a show and you're making coffee. Yes. How long does that take? Well, since you didn't buy me Starbucks, I'm having Malongo coffee now. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Yeah. We have to wait. God damn it. Come we have on. to wait for fucking Rufa to get her coffee. 
<laughs> all right. Okay, Gabe. Listen. Hold on. Wait. What's we have to wait. Name? I'm not Bono. doing the show. We're not giving out talking to people. There. 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 God damn it. <laughs> Bono. That's Bono. A, that's a nice machine, by the way. Bono. Hey. Bono sleeping nice. Oh, sleeping yeah, nice. Good night, nice. Bono. Yeah. All right. I like your name. Yeah, it's a bone right in it. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you so much. Oh. Okay. I would never allow this on my radio show. This whole conversation behind the microphones. Oh, come over. on. You're, you're just awesome today and we're going to forgive you. Exactly. Because, you know, then if you pay people, then it's going to be boring. Joanne. And then this ca- is spontaneous. Hello. Joanne Kalaohan, 28. You have a question for Rufa Gutierrez. Go. Hi. Uh, good evening. Hello. Good evening. Yeah. Um, I just want to know. I'm curious because in, in my case, I, I have never asked my mom for sexual advice. Okay. So um, I'm curious if you guys um, ever ask. No Or way. do you ask your mom for No, not me. Rufa. No. You, you, well, you know what? Why, ask why? one of your older friends. Wait, or wait, read hold on, hold on. some time books. Time. No, no, no. Time out, time out, time out. Go to the bookstore and buy some uh, some books. No, but you have a novelty mom. And your mom on television it says like, Alamo, Kavini, Eduardo. You know, you know, you know, okay, like, she can talk. She can probably get advice, uh, give advice to the boys. Well, I know, but I remember my mom before... Um, what did she say? I remember your mom in an interview saying that she still has a solid sex life. I know. Yeah, so, yeah. So that's because good. That's because, healthy. Yeah, because she can say that in a, in a, on worldwide yeah, television. You can't talk to her, her about it? No, no, no. I can't. My gosh. That's I, awesome. I can't talk about uh, that to my mom and dad. I think they're still... They don't want to hear those things from their kids. Just uh, buy course. some books. Go to the bookstore. Search online. either. Exactly. I don't want to ask my mom for advice. Okay, on anyway, who do you want to... Okay, listen. This is why this show exists. Don't ask your mom for sex advice. You ask us, That's we'll give it to here. you. Okay? Ask Mo. That's why we're here. That's All right, Joanne? And by the way, you're 28. What what, what, what do you need to know that your mom <laughs> fucking no, I, I is going to give you? I was curious if, um, if you guys ever ask. So, because I really feel awkward just thinking about it. Of course. Of it's course. It's normal. It's normal because it's disgusting. Don't do no. it, Okay. Yeah. All right, baby. Have a good okay. day. Sorry, you're you're on hold for twenty minutes. Okay, Moat. Somebody tweeted me that you're so gross. <laughs> but guess what? You're like so still listening, right? Know, so right. stop complaining. <laughs> Hello to the people of Denmark. Okay. All right, Denmark's a beautiful country. God damn it! I'll tell you about Denmark. Denmark, one of the highest tax rates in the world for a country. One of the lowest religious, uh, uh, what do we? The, the most uh, lowest um, faith believing uh, population in the world. Super successful. Okay, Mo, we don't want to hear that. Let's take some high more taxes, calls. I'm, high I'm taxes, having fun here. Low faith, prosperous country, always on the top of the list of the best countries in the world. Okay, come on, go, go, go. I'm What's still, my point? I, I'm awake my now. Point my is coffee. Make money. Don't fuck around with with religion too much. Come on, take um, another call. Billy is here. Hello, Billy. No, no, no. Billy's in. Oh, one last call because we're done. Edward. No, I'm enjoying. We, I'm sorry, my dear. We can't extend the show because you're enjoying. You've had everything you want today. This is the one thing we're not giving you, Edward. <laughs> Hey, I Mo, go. Rufa, Doc. Hello. Hi. Edward, what's Hi. up? Hi, guys. Edward's uh, sleepy. Uh, in a nutshell, uh, no, I say, uh, uh, how do I say this? I'm actually getting married to my girlfriend of more than eight years. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, problem is, um, we're planning the preparations, but I still haven't proposed yet. And uh, I just am uh, thinking of a way to make it. So special because uh, I want to sur- surprise her getting married next month. So you're asking us for, an, uh, for a uh, wedding propo- uh, proposal advice. Yeah. So they're getting married. So the, the planning came before the proposal. That's new. How much money you got? Mm, let's say let's your budget. Less, than your... 100, less than 100. Martin Did you buy the ring already? Um, maybe on Friday. Okay, so the hundred thousand, the less than a hundred, let's say ninety five thousand. Let's say hundred. Let's say hundred thousand. Is that including 000, the ring? Does it include the ring or not? Uh, including. How much is the ring? Around uh, twenty five, <laughs> thirty. What? No, uh, more than more than fifty. Fifty. So you're okay. gonna play with forty thousand with coins. Mm-hmm. And what can you do with that? Well, listen, uh, that's not going to take you to Europe. It's not going to take you to Paris. That's oh, can not you just take be local, this... Mo? No, God what I mean, it. that's what I'm saying. For forty thousand, you're not going to go the extravagant and take her to the goddamn Eiffel Tower and then do it. Take you her know... to Bahal. Why to see <laughs> fucking hills? If they get married in chocolate hills. Um, there's a pending uh, Boracay trip. Oh, that's no, cool. No, not Boracay. Why? But I go Palawan because it's more serene. Boracay is kind of little. Palawan's too... expensive. But we're going there already. Before the wedding. Okay, yeah, let, let him be. Let him. Okay, Boracay is perfect with the white beach and everything. Yeah, but when can you go to Boracay, get on your knees to propose without some guy fucking trying to sell you shades? 
<laughs> right? Where when? Cliff, when is that? They can oh, then stay in station one. Station one, parade. Parade. Oh no, jet ski, jet ski. Oh, I'm, 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 try, I'm trying to fucking promote to my wife. Ah, banana boat. So go to the Shangri La. That's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> go to the Shangri La. Get a regular room at the Shangri La and then prepare a barbecue dinner by the beach, right? Okay. Like a mm-hmm. like a luau or something. They yeah. do that. You know what? The Shangri La, two nights. What Call about, them. They can prepare yeah. something yeah, for what you. What about seventeen grand a night? You'd no, say? it's fourteen thousand okay. plus plus. So okay, fifteen. If for fifteen grand, two nights, thirty thousand. That's more than plenty for you to. to but what's the money budget more for the ring? No, Make because it 40. no, because forty thousand. Okay, fifty thousand for the ring, thirty thousand for hotel accommodations. That puts you at eighty thousand. You still have a twenty thousand pesos surplus for the barbecue for, for, for your airplane the barbecue's ticket. Five thousand probably. Well, no, your airplane ticket, a little bit of food and whatnot. Let's, let's just put your budget on one hundred and five thousand to one hundred ten thousand because this is you're gonna only do this once in your life. If you don't have that kind of money. Save one more month to get to that 110 area so you can They're make getting them. married next month, Mo. You're not listening. <laughs> you mean the 100,000? Tra- the Delay 100, You include that. The, the ring's already included. How about the expenses for the marriage? Listen. No, no, that's just for proposal. Edward? Yep. I want to see the receipts. Mm-hmm. Edward, if you you're should short, listen to if me. If you're short, five to ten grand, Rufus is going to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right? But you got to show us the receipts. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sure, That's sure, a deal. Sure. It's okay, a deal. Okay, Edward. Bye. Edward, here it is. Shangri-La, Barakai. Great Ooh, job. Wow. Rufa Gutierrez is here today. That was great advice. And uh, have Are a good day. Are we done? We're done. That was oh, two hours and on. ten minutes. Yeah. Really? And yet you were complaining in the beginning of the show, two hours? I need to be paid. <laughs> Well, I've had fun. You know, I'm Please learning a lot back. from uh, complete it. strangers, and this is fun. I mean, you know. Well, our doors. Are I would open not leave my job being an actress and a host, but this is fun. You know, you should yeah. invite me again. Maybe I in know. A few you, l- listen, Rufa, I will invite you over and over. You were amazing today. You were hilarious. People loved you. I, but the only reason why I would be hesitant to uh, invite you is because you're Rufa Gutierrez. You probably you have 15 TV shows and like mm-hmm. 14 kids. Uh, you know, four t- I, two <laughs> two <laughs> whatever. Uh, I just think maybe you might not have time, but if you're willing to do this, yeah, but not every week. I mean, right. you invite me in a few months. Yeah, right. Well, months, maybe next month. Be- but because you're you you're willing to do this when you're again. capable of like having more viewers. How rude! <laughs> that is true though, because our internet right now is not. Come uh, on, Bubbles Paraiso can't even get on because she said the computer is crashing. Call call our internet provider. Tell him, hey, Rufa says this. Um, have a great, great uh, night, Rufa. I, I, we, I don't know what time people are going to be listening to this. So whatever you, uh, whatever time it is in your world, uh, whether you download it in the morning, in the afternoon, whatever, thank you very much for being part of the show. Thank you to all our callers for being so amazing and so funny. Doc Gan, as always, stellar work for a guy with zero experience when it comes to broadcasting. These two nights, thank you. Thank you've you. been excellent. There's always going to be room for improvement for all of us, mm. but at least at the at at the at its basic, I think you did a good job, Pat. Thank, thank you, thank you, Pat. Yes, what's up, Mo? Give yourselves a round of applause. You guys did awesome yeah. today. Wow, I like this. This is cool. You know, we're can, they don't know where we are, right? Not okay. Yeah. We shouldn't tell them. Oh, you, yeah. You mean the people listening? Yeah, they don't. We're in Mahati. But guys, okay. you did a great job with the phones. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, all of thank you. Thank you. I had so thank much you, fun. You. Jeff, thank you for being my uh, coffee delivery boy. Give some yes, to Mo. Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. As and, well. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Buhawi Meneses of Parroquia and Edgar will be here Friday. Carla Humphreys, maybe you want to hang out. She'll be here. Oh, cool. Monday, if I'm not mistaken, we have Mark Nelson. Uh, it's it's every day, new celebrity. It's going to be a lot of fun. This is Good Times with the podcast brought to you by San Miguel Light, powered by Smart Bro. Thank you to all our sponsors like PLDT, Bello, TGI Fridays, uh, Trade Port.com.ph, Madrid Travel Club. We're giving away a trip to Japan on this show soon wow. in the next few weeks for you go to snow so you guys can go snowboarding or if you want to see cherry blossoms and whatnot. Uh, we also want to thank Canon, Blackberry. Whoo, boy. Uh, that, that, yeah, that's it. I mean, those are the guys that Mo agreed help. to babysit my kids. That's why yes, I uh, I to agreed be to be on the show. All right. Have a good But gr- thank you so much. Wait, every Sunday, can I promote at oh, least? You know, right. I'm that's here what, like, you know, right. wasting celeb- my lawai. That's and- what celebrities do. Go. Okay. So please watch Paparazzi every Sunday with uh, with you, Mo. <laughs> um, that's at 4 p.m. Yeah. on TV5. Sure. And uh, wait for my other show, which I can't talk about right now. And of course, Talentadong Pinoy. That's every Saturday and Sunday, uh, 7.30 p.m. 
And follow me on Twitter. I love Rufa G. Yeah, you did a great job. If I had a fake round of applause, I'd be playing it right oh, now. Oh, and we're having also a Valentine concert with Pops Fernandez, Regine Velasquez, Augie and Alcacid. Augie Alcacid. Sorry. February 12th at the Crown Plaza Ballroom. Please be there and support us. You can get tickets at 727-2536 and 2534. See you guys tomorrow. Have a great, great day. Good night. I didn't even say good night. Go. Good night. <laughs> Jeez, Rufa, you're amazing. Uh, yeah, good night. Goodbye. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, was brought to you by San Nick Light. Executively produced by Mohan Gumata, engineered by Miguel Alfindo, and operated by Icon Media Inc. Special thanks to Dr. Gan Montenegro, Larry Carlat, and Magic 89.9. <laughs> Good Times with Mo, the podcast, is a Battle Axe production recorded at the Smart Bro Studios in Manila, Philippines. You can follow Mo on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash DJ Mo Twister. Email him at goodtimeswithmopodcast at rocketmail.com. Website www.motwister.com